Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Blades in the Dark, which is also the least safe thing that you can do is to play, Blades, play with Blades in the Dark. But not for us, because we're going to have fun. It's going to be a fun time. We're, all gonna, we're doing great. We're all doing great. We're waiting on a player. But, you know, we felt like it was time to get started anyway. So, um, let's do just a... There. Yes, welcome to Blades in the Dark. Now we have some music going. If you're in Roll20, you hear it. If you're not in Roll20, you don't hear it. No. Um, so, let's do a quick round of introductions as we get started, and we're going to go in a clockwise order, so we're starting with Nat. Hi, I'm Nat, and I'm doing character, just me. Uh, I think he was fine. Hi, I'm Nat, you can find me at CrimeNat on the internet, on the Twitters where I live mostly. I am a disabled tabletop RPG streamer, neurodivergent is the term I like to use, preferably. Um. And I like the day Tuesday. That's basically me. The day Tuesday is a good day. It's every day, except for Bazuso, Destroyer of Tuesdays. Well, I, yeah, I've Wednesday. seen the Bazuso thing lately, and I'm, it's fine. It's, I don't have to understand <laughs> that. Like a lot of things in life, I'm just, I just smile and nod, and if you're happy, I'm happy. Um, moving around, uh, Chase. Hi, I am Chase. You can find me at, at Fromonger on just about any social media. I mostly just use Twitter, but I poke around elsewhere. Uh, I've just started streaming RPGs. I've been playing them forever, obviously. Uh, if you're interested in surrealist microfictions, you can also find me at at is, micro, at is underscore microfictions, where I write tweet linked microfictions in the Invisible Sun universe. Oh my gosh. Hang on. I'm there. Okay. That's great. That's what I wanted to hear. That's fantastic. You're going to fit right in. It's great. Chase is new this week, but has been hanging out with us for a while. Just uh, last week wasn't a good week, but that's fine because that's what this episodic play is all about. Uh, next, Randlam. Hello, everybody. I am Randlam. Uh, shelve the books on Twitter. That's pretty much everything so far. I, some things are in development, but. When you have a full-time job and then you're also like, let's do other things. <laughs> it doesn't work out all the Ooh. time. Mm. Uh, anyway, but if you're looking for some great twitch.tv action, randomly generated J-E-N-N -N, uh, on Twitch is fantastic. And so is Rose Artemis. Both are my friends and both stream not only, you know, tabletop role-playing content, but also variety of games man see i'm i'm not a twitch person so it's variety streaming whatever that is you know lots of different stuff all the time so go check them out i'd appreciate it um and i'm ready let's do it all right and my good friend jesse hello i'm jesse you can find me at chahoos the moose on all social media sites and others um and uh Sometimes I post art and cool things that I make. There's a reason you're art mom. <laughs> I'm also art mom to a Cole. A Cole. For, for, you know, I feel like that may that you you maybe have been adopting into that that family there, but it's good. It's fine. It's great. Um, I'm Kyle. I'll be your dragon manager tonight. I am because. Uh, I don't like the term master in all these. It's weird. Um, we don't actually have dragons in this game either, but it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. How are you? So. We don't and, have dragons yet, Kyle. Okay, that's true. And I was going to ask. Were, dragons would be like eldritch winged horrors from your nightmares. It wouldn't be like, you know, smog. Well, there is also smog in this game, but that's a different smog entirely. <laughs> uh, so it's but, smog, not smeaug. <laughs> Smaug. Sorry, Tolkien. Nah, just dirty wow. air. Wow, there was a lot that just happened there. So it's fine. We're all fine. Um, okay, so this is our second session of the game. I'm pulling up some notes here. Yes. Um, what we're going to do is go around quickly and talk about 
where things where things got set up last week. Um, we set up our crew, Rhodes and Company, a crew of shadows, and I believe that what we determined about these shadows, they are shadows with a strange yet professional relationship. When we say strange, we mean like haunted and and occult and weird in that way. Um, they Their lair, our old, is a hidden lair, not found easily, our old rail cars in an abandoned Coal Ridge rail yard, uh, who, have a pre preference for espionage missions in Night Market and um, also have their quarters there in their lair so they can all live on on site. Right? I What I have in my mind is that each of you has your own rail car. I don't know if that's true. No, that's, that's true. exactly. Okay. What was... what was that? Sorry, I missed what you said there. I said that my I imagine that you each have your own rail car, like in this little like a small train of rail cars, and it's and they're underneath like in a like in a. We we couldn't think of the term last week, and I'm going to look it up. One of those maintenance houses. One of those, it's like a hangar, but for for trains. Anyways, that's what I imagine. Am I too far off? Am I right? Is that kind of what you envision as well? Sort of like a little apartment complex for everyone. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, for those of you who have already joined the crew, and I guess this will probably affect Chase's character as well, I want to set a scene. This is sort of a cut scene as, as we begin this week. So last week you undertook a score that involved um, distracting or otherwise obstructing the blue coats so that they could undertake, so that your friends, the fog hounds, fog hounds, I think, um, could undertake a smuggling mission on behalf of the Deathland scavengers. And you did that by deploying magnetic, buoyant caltrops in the canals. Also, as part of that, at one point, one of you whispers attuned to the ghost field to plunge the... Oh, we do have a Porta. Is it true? Yay! Porta! Oh, we do have Porta. We did it. Let me Maybe. fix that's camera. Because that's got to happen. I'm part of Porta's camera right now. <laughs> It's all good. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. Florida, can you hear us? We cannot hear you. Nope, can't hear you now. So, testing. We're doing great. Awesome. Okay. Now we hear you. Yes. So this is Florida. Everyone say hello to Florida. Hi. Hello, Florida. Florida's good. <clears throat> so oh, we were just getting started and reviewed quickly the score from last week. Um, and during that time, while in fact it was Florida's character, um, Rhodes, who was rappelling down above the above the canal to deploy those magnetic buoyant caltrops. I believe that was it Echo that attuned to the ghost field to plunge the bridge into uh, darkness. I think we did it together, but okay. yes, it was my idea. Echo and eyes, and it even it, it spread a little bit. It was it covered a little bit more area than they had intended, and one of the guard towers at uh, Iron Hook <laughs> Prison and a little bit of Coal Ridge also got plunged into darkness. Uh, it's a few days later now. It's early in the morning, perhaps several hours before. What passes for dawn? The sun is basically dead in, uh, in this world. Um, but what little light there is, this is significantly even before that during the day, 
um, this would be the hour of coal. And you awaken, you are deep in your hidden lair. So no one finds you, but above you in the old rail yard, you can hear men shouting, dogs barking, women and children screaming, uh, things banging, as the blue coats are rousting trouble, uh, looking for troubled makers. They don't find your lair. You have a hidden lair. Uh, in, in the rail yard because uh, apparently they are pretty unhappy about this uh, interference with their operations. And after they finish, you know, rounding up their usual suspects and, uh, you know, breaking a few bones and smashing some windows and doors, because let's be clear, the completely unlike reality, the, the law enforcement here is are basically thugs themselves and gangs and troublemakers and just do whatever they want without regard for the law. I'm sure that, yeah, it's terrible. It's a real shame. It's so unlike real life. Anyways, um, all that to say, yes, you have had your whole weekend from strong to weak as your entanglement from last week. Oh, bummer. Oh, that's that's really bad. Ew. Yeah. It, it went down like, oh. Mm. So <laughs> as you can, that said, you will recover it as you continue to earn rep through your jobs. Right. So it's not forever. It's just basically the citizenry of Coal Ridge is kind of unhappy with you because they kind of figured out who, like the locals know they didn't give you up. Your lair remains hidden. But they're like, kind of like giving you the side eye because you brought this trouble down on the good, hardworking people there in the Central Coal Ridge. They basically just declared war on us. Like, that's what happens when you declare war. You just, they, both this, sides lose hold. So, yeah. Th so, this isn't full war. It doesn't have all the other mechanical effects of war. Your status didn't drop to minus three with them. Um, but you you did the entanglement was uh, um, I forget the term for it, um, but basically yeah your your yeah. your old weekends basically um, like a crackdown or something. Yeah. Oh, speaking of status, did we gain or lose any from our mission last time? Did we gain any with the foghounds? Did we lose any with the bluecoats? Um, you. I am tracking all, let me see. So first of all, that was what's called a show of force in mechanical terms. So oh, cool. so for all of us who are learning Blades in the Dark together, um, a faction with whom you have a negative status, and that's definitely the cops, makes a play against your holdings, give them one claim or go to war. If you have no claims, which you don't, drop lose one hold instead. It could have been a lot worse. You could have had to choose about losing a claim or going to war. Now it's just. Mm. I'm really I like glad. how that entanglement. Oh, I'm really glad we didn't go to war. Yeah. I'm really glad you would have had a choice. Doesn't punish super new crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, losing one hold, it's like, it's basically two, maybe three scores worth of rep, and you'll be yeah. back to stronghold. But you won't be at tier one yet. So, so with I mean, entanglements, if... oh, go, ahead. go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Okay. So with entanglements, can't we also like circumvent the downsides by engaging with them in a way that makes sense? Like, isn't that isn't it usually X or Y or the, the C answer? Whatever you can normally think of? yes, normally yes. However, for your um, heat level and the die roll. The problem was that you, at the time that we did the roll, you were at heat four, which you've since reduced. But the entanglement roll gets made before downtime. And if you get a, a die roll of six, which I did, um, then it's just show of force. Whereas otherwise, it could be reprisals or unquiet dead, gang trouble, or the usual suspects or questioning. So for most of them, unless there's a six, in which case you don't get a choice. Because it was. Okay. Yeah. But hopefully this time. I mean, we'll see. We'll also see how well you control your heat this time. Last time you did, you, you got it down back to zero 
but you did generate a good bit of heat during the uh, during the score. So let's talk about now. So let's go through our new friend, our new crew member, Chase. Chase, why don't you tell us a little bit about your character, and if you have any questions about uh, character creation, now is the time we can fix that. Yeah, uh, my character's name is Barton Shea. Bart to his friends, uh, barrel on the job. Uh, he is a cutter that is not to be trifled with because that's the easily coolest special ability a cutter can have. Uh, as far as up till this point, he's bounced around various manual labor jobs, but has had just horrid run of it, be it a mine collapsing here, a boat sinking there, bad employers. Well, worse than average in Dust Bowl, which is still really bad. Uh, and he has chosen a life of crime to support his family because that's the only option you have for upward mobility in Dust Bowl, it seems. You're not wrong. Yay, rapidly industrializing capitalism? Uh, yeah. So, um, let us, so how is it, so I'm curious, do you know any of the other crew members? Perhaps, perhaps you know Char? Uh, it is definitely possible that I know Char. Uh, I know that thus far this week, uh, Eyes and I have had a lot of RP off screen. A lot. Uh, I would very much like to know the other people, like, I could see having met Char, honestly, at a really bad bar that not nice people frequent, if I were to assume. Right. But, so, uh, yeah. That could, I mean, it certainly could be that Eyes has introduced you to her friends. Uh, there yep. in, uh, okay. in Coleridge, um, there are... Well, any bar that's in Coleridge is, by definition, um, pretty pretty low end. It's a dive. Um, the bars in Night Market tend to be a little higher class. Or, J Jesse, what's that, Jesse? I was saying bless you to Nat. <laughs> oh, yes. My machine gun sneeze. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that makes sense. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've definitely worked with eyes in the past, uh, not under the guise of eyes, but I've done like bulk laundry loads for her or transport of stuff and whatnot because manual labor. And we've complained about contracts and bad employers and how I just have no idea how to make money in this city. And I could see her sliding in at that point. <laughs> Oh, but so you so you are okay so you're a local you're not okay this makes sense this is good tell us uh, do you, what what do you have have you figured out already and it's perfectly fine if nothing um about your friend marlene of pugilist uh so marlene is a frequent coach trainer down at the fighting pits and while many people have suggested that Bart should take up the job of pugilism. Honestly, like, he would like to see his kids grow old someday. So, it's a young man's game. Lo and behold, now he's a criminal, so... Uh -huh. I was gonna say, so he went from being a box... Instead of being a boxer, he decided to be a cutter. That's, uh... Yeah. Twice safer. Well, like, you can, you can hide from the cops. It's kind of hard to hide in a bare-knuckle boxing fight. Fair. Uh -huh. But, yeah, so... He enjoys the sport of it all. He got on well with Marlene and she taught him some tricks. All right, this makes sense. Now, what about your rival, Mercy, a cold killer? Uh, Mercy was actually Bart's first foray into the criminal underground of Duskfall and it went very poorly. Uh, Mercy is, in Bart's mind, a psychopath uh, who has on more than one occasion, expressed to hell with the heat, it doesn't matter, and Bart is not fond of things following him home, so killing people is not a thing he's, like, super cool with, because 
the death chimes in Duskfall. So at this point, he and Mercy have the psychopath coward sort of dichotomy going on. I dig it. I dig it. Um, Char, do you think there's any connection there? I'm just wondering because Char, having some connection to um, bounty hunters and the like, I don't know if there's any connection there or not. I mean, we don't need to know each other, but I want to I want to make it clear that if you hang out in the same bar as the Char does, you will have to make an extra effort to get to know them because they will be smoking these cigars that literally will make you have anxiety attacks if you come within any like foot and a half radius of them because they are poisonous plants that nobody else can consume unless you take a special ability from the hound. So like, I just wanted to make it clear that he goes to bars, sits in like a corner and like smokes cigars and drinks, but the only people that come near him are people that can either like pretend like they can handle it or like dare each other. Like, bro, bro, go over there, hang out with that guy, talk to him. And Char just sits there and smokes and doesn't pay attention. So if you want to, for sure, but like, we don't need to know each other outside. Listen, we can love you from a distance. Yeah, I mean, that's welcome to, welcome to why I picked this, a working through your own trauma in a TTRPG. (laughs) Nobody does that. Yeah, I know, exactly, nobody. It's not like my character is just a walking cartoon of daddy issues. (laughs) Yeah, no, I can, uh, I think we can all relate to different things. Yes, in different ways. That was a statement to sit back down on. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back, Florida. We're uh, talking about working through traumas via TTRPGs and how no one does that. The Dark is a good game for that. Um, You know, it's a great game, but I mean, it's it's a good game for 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 that for folks who want to take that path. So certainly, it is not. Uh, it's not a therapy game by any stretch of the imagination. Um, no, it isn't. No. <laughs> Please don't. Unless your therapy no, I, is mayhem. Right. I am not, to all of those people out there thinking maybe they want to get into a, a game for therapy, I suggest you don't play this or Dungeons and Dragons. And, and even then, I, I would be the first to say, yeah, and, and not that we're about this here, but you know, your your RPG group is not, uh, is not your group therapy. But yes. that said, absolutely in fact in my gothic brunch game um i didn't know that one of my good friends and one of the players in that game had written his character's backstory about some real life trauma that he didn't tell anybody about until the the end of the series end of the campaign and it turned out that all this stuff that his has been working through it turned out was so and there was so there were some real emotions there and uh, it was valuable for him so i was glad he could at least be there for him for that um, all right, so we've got Beryl, who is, uh, Beryl, do you, so if you go home to your family, do you live at the lair or do you live elsewhere? So I have an apartment in Char Hollow, and when I, I have a hovel in Char Hollow, uh, and when I can, I try to go back there, and if I'm sleeping at the lair, I'm likely to sit down in the main quarters and be like, oh, I'll just head, I'll just relax here for a minute and then head home and then I'll fall asleep there. So I try to go home and then I fail. Okay, so maybe once in a while because you've got, maybe that's the the vice indulgence. 100% a dad. I was going to say 100% a dad means that you are going to try and convince us that your family should live with us, right? Is that like... You know what would be a good idea? Maybe my kids and my family get their own rail car. Eh? Eh? Rent free. Person who smokes poisonous cigars. Yeah. No, yeah, that's uh, healthy. That is a step beyond for Bart and 100% husband not on board with that. Super no. <laughs> All right. I mean, we live in Coleridge. I feel like there's enough soot in the air anyway. Whatever. I mean, fine. and there, and so, so no, this is good. This will. Uh, Give me uh, ideas for later. 
Give I've also break. thought of about a dozen overindulgence options. Oh. If uh, if you oh. ever want some tips, exactly. I've got a lot of bad things that could happen to my family. <laughs> In my family, more to my family. Wow. Wow. I lied. He wow. didn't give you a knife. He's got firm hold of it still. Yeah, I somebody, know. somebody highlight that. Okay. So Ooh. I used the wrong preposition. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Yes. Stab my family, please. No, I'm just thinking like some arguments and um uh, honestly maybe a stabby person calls me home. I don't know. Wow. Okay. So um, from your long term projects, were there any things any scenes out of that any specific fiction that you wanted to uh that you wanted to tackle um before we kind of get to you know so there's kind of the free play section i've got something that i want to frame up for you but i want to see first if there's anything that you particularly wanted to hit i'm getting a lot of looks so i'm thinking so we'll see if those crop, crop up so uh, one thing is so in in night market all right night market is where you have your hunting grounds and as a reminder night market is a is a commercial district right there are markets there there are for sort of the nouveau riche sort of upper middle class lower upper class there are new elite pound homes there for them um, there's a hound racing track in the center of town or the center of the district rather um, and a number of social clubs some of which are relatively well known about like the Vale, which is known to uh, cater to clientele who may have a more arcane or or unusual background um it is known that a number of tycharosi tycharosi i don't know how we say do we figure out a setting do we agree on a, on a thing on a... we hadn't agreed on one but i've been just calling them tycharosi tycharosi like probably not what was intended <laughs> uh, who knows I, i'll go back to that. anyway for it, it, it is a pilot no no uh, is a Taika Rossi who uh, the, the proprietor themselves it is said that his lower body is the body of a serpent um, but your friend your your crew has a friend your crew has a contact in the guise of I believe Armancio yes a, a deal broker that's correct Sorry, I wasn't sure if you wanted confirmation there. <laughs> yeah, no, Amancio, there's no R in there, my bad. Okay. Um, Amancio is another Akarosi, that is, he's from this part of the empire, from this area. Um, and he, he looks, he's a handsome but older man with a lined face, much like Matthew Modine in Stranger Things. He looks a lot like that. He wears a very nice three-piece suit at all times always has his hair kind of combed back but it's all white and gray at this point um he has while well, he does have a small home here in in night market typically where you find him is at one of the smaller private clubs here in the in the district um, what, so I'm going to ask y'all first because this is um, collaborative storytelling. The private club where you usually meet with him, that sort of caters to the uh, to the city's elite. What is un what is it about this club that is particularly strange and unusual? So you'd think that there's like electric lighting because that's the big deal, electricity and all. But instead they've got this massive chandelier that looks to have been made of bone. The, the power is people. 
So is a candle chandelier? I don't know. Decided. It might just be orbs of light that no one yep. can explain. I think the no hands of the powered. <laughs> yep. So like I the, think... the the electro like just electroplasmic lights. Something like that. But what maybe. The, but the frame of the chandelier. But what were you gonna say, J uh, Jesse? I was gonna say um I I think if like you know how huge well maybe like big clubs have like fog and mist kind of spilling out of it onto the street to like entice people to be like, hey, this is a massive party. There are lights and fog and thumping, thumping th sounds. Um, the fog is a little off color. We don't know why. No one's, no one's sure why. It should have a smell. Like a nice smell, not like a... Yeah. I was, was going to say, oh, okay, it's going to be like a, a vampire the masquerade LARP. Club, is that what we're doing? <laughs> There's bones everywhere, and also it smells like sickly sweet lilac. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go with rose, but okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, rose, lavender, sickly sick lilac. Lavender? I feel like everyone want to go there for a nap. <laughs> yeah, if that's actually what the club is, it's a nap club. They're just like, yo, knock me out. There's hey, ASMR playing. <laughs> so I mean. That's not far from like an opium den, so that's that could be. Uh, yeah. Well, well. That's Maybe. right. Blades in the dark. Canon ASMR clubs, everybody. You're welcome. All right. Yes, so. <laughs> What's my advice? Actually, <laughs> I like people tapping on their collarbones in front of me for hours. Different, different <laughs> so. <laughs> that. Um, he welcomes you in there. He's kind of gives Char a look and kind of waves off whatever Char usually. Like, hopefully, you're not smoking. Are you, or are you trying to smoke in there? I mean, I think in most like closed, confined spaces outside of like the two bars that Char goes to, he he always is chewing on it, but it's not lit, right? So. Um, I was gonna buy some cigars and actually have, but the danger with that is then I will smoke them and that I don't wanna do that. Um, but yeah, so he will just sort of like be nine on like a dog end of a cigar and it's, and just like make a, he'll make a motion like it's not lit, don't worry about it. But he'll also just like spit um, pieces of the wrapper like on the ground. Very good. The, the the others of you, what are you doing as you're kind of settling in? He's sitting on in a, in a big cushioned booth area, kind of a private booth area. Um, how is it that uh, that you all kind of walk in and settle in? Where do you settle in? Are animals allowed in here? Mm, probably not. Oh. This is for the elite. I mean, sure. So this is what... It's very discriminatory. So he, he, like, yeah, he, like, weighs me off of smoking, like, poison. Um, but then, like, I, I sit down and sort of, like, splay out on the edge of something. And, like, a giant nine-foot, like, cat just, like, climbs up on top of the couch and just sort of, like, wraps its body around my head and just like lays there huge paws and like a tail like whipping back and forth i mean i feel like if this giant nine foot cat climbed up onto the couch the rest of us could not then sit on the couch <laughs> but I mean, it's, on the, it's, it's not on the couch it's on like the headrest of the couch right so you i'll know. stand yeah right. big saber tooth tiger i so will just... risk it i'll sit next to the cat <laughs> I mean, the cat like the cat is like you. above us, I guess. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it they sniffs probably don't you want. Then... They probably don't want water damage on this couch anyway. To be honest. Oh, that's right. Because Avalia is always moist. You don't need to use that word. I have I, never uttered that word. I thought we agreed it was damp. Damp. Uh, damp. That's right. They. they I, I mean, they're the girl from the ring. They're some. Right. They're Samara. A little bit. I mean, the yeah. Oh, so, fresh out of the shower. 
So Lal likes all of you, just to be clear. Like, we yeah. are a crew. So Lal is not mean to any of you, nor do they, like, try and eat you. Um, okay. They will act like a giant cat. And so maybe sometimes they'll, like, put your entire arm in their mouth. Uh, but just, you know, plain. Haha, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, like those giant tigers with their zookeepers, and it's like super cute, and then you get like heads and mouths, and it's still yeah. super cute, but like yeah, it's super. Warm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the whole thing. Lol to me is sort of a counterpoint uh, to that Char. One so it's it's the most painful thing in the world. Um, I would perch on like the edge of the couch that's like most towards the outside. Okay. Yeah, I'm likely to stand slightly behind the couch. I'm not likely to sit down in places I don't go super frequently. Sort of scan the area, scratch all behind the ears a little bit. And that, and like, yeah, Rhodes feels like a head massager. <laughs> and it, what it is is just purring. So. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so I love them. I'm just going to sit there and try really hard not to lean back and be all like super unprofessional <laughs> <laughs> right i mean and that's and this is this is until like if people come and like try and kick lol out that's one thing but the cat is here how uh, would they so i think what well, happens asking. is i mean as clientele that walk by a few kind of give you a side eye a few are kind of like oh how decadent how right delicious. and so because every- the- because they're kind of slumming it a little bit, right? They're like right. here for this. Right. And so every single one that makes any sort of contact to either look at the cat or to like whisper, uh, Moreland like looks at them like directly in the eyes and stares at them until they walk past. He doesn't say anything. Maybe he like moves the cigar around in his mouth a little bit while he watches them. But if somebody's like, oh my, he's just like, oh, how's it going? <laughs> yep. You. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I, I think also that what happens is that when, if any of the club staff come by, like as soon as they kind of peek around, Amancio, just like with the raise of an eyebrow and the barest hint of waving his hand, they nod and walk away. Clearly, he's a... Uh, he's important. He's, yes, he's, way. He's, he's a guy. He's, he he's, comes he's, here a bit. Yeah, he, he, he's, he, they, they, they don't mess with him too much. So... Um, he tells you that, well, as you all know, the raids are really the main, one of the main uh, factions here in this area. And they're out trying to do some business. They're trying to sell something that they've recently acquired. And if you're looking for an opportunity, helping them find a buyer is something they'd appreciate. Um, although that's not the only thing going on. Um, the other thing is there are friends of friends who would like to know some things about uh, some specific but a specific individual who tends to frequent some of the less savory clubs here at Nightmark. They would like to know kind of what this person is really into. That's one thing that you could help with. And of course, if you have your own opportunities to pursue, then by all means, you should do those. So after he leans back from asking you know or laying out the options uh char sort of like leans forward and is like so this information that the rays have is this something that you want or is this something that we need to help them it's something they have a well a document a map in fact, that I don't know where they got it. It wasn't really important at the time. 
but apparently it's a sea map. It's they somehow have acquired one of the houses hunting maps out of the void sea. And it's possible that the Ministry of Preservation would like to get their hands on it. So that might be one way to go. If you know others, that would be fine. What I'm what I'm asking you, and he like when you say void sea map, he like looks over at the damp girl that's standing damply next to them. She's like holding something that's around her neck. Uh, but what mention of the um, of the map perks up and is just staring her kind of gray eyes boring into this individual. As uh, Amancio, right? Yeah. Amancio. Yeah. Of and so course, if you were to acquire the map yourself and sell it to someone else, I wouldn't know anything about that either. And so, yeah, so Chart looks at Amancio and says, so you're not interested in acquiring this for yourself. For no. Okay. I, I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't one of those situations where you were saying, here's a job also, wink, wink, give it to me instead. We've done a couple of those. I just want I to make sure. I certainly keep my hands clean of those things. My business is to connect people. Right. I understand. Okay. And so he turns to the group and like looks at Rhodes specifically. He's like, look, this is your company. So, you, you know, what do you want to do? I'm not like the leader or whatever. And he just like leans back. <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know. Who wants to do what? Who's this other person? I'm sorry? Who's the who's the person? The second option. Oh, oh. Well. I try not to ask more questions than I need to know. If you're interested in perhaps some work for friends of friends and tailing let's say a young man from a good family and more money than sense go on family from a very good family one of the best families he has some habits that he'd probably rather not his family find out about and he certainly would not want the local Anyone? ink rakes, that, which are the journalists, the ink rakes to find out about. And there are those who, if they knew about specifically about those things, could remind him. They would do the reminding to him of how it wouldn't be in his favor for people to find out about how he spends his evenings. But we, they would like to know more about how, in fact, he spends his evenings. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say, eat the rich in character. Right. <laughs> well, I mean... Now that sounds more our speed. <laughs> I would have worded it as putting a spoiled brat in his place, but... Right. Yeah, and to and... be clear, what he's what they're saying is that these people want, want you to gather blackmail. Yeah. 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 So... Yeah, we got that. All yeah, right, just making sure because yep. you're not going to eat him. I mean, you might. But that's I like, mean, the don't. That's not what somebody's going to pay you for. It. Don't. Right. Although I think blackmail isn't useful once somebody is dead. I feel like, but who knows? Um, so oh, Char okay. like it could be useful. Yeah, Char is like leaning back and like tapping on like the the hilt, not hilt. It's the hand grip of his gun man i don't know anything about weapons that uh hounds use <laughs> everybody just so you know sharpshooting whatever um and so he just like looks at our friend here and is like when you say friends of a friends is this like has he used that term before does char know like 
who that would be. He uses that without... term he wants to introduce you to somebody, but he's not personally vouching for them. Right, that's what I thought. He's like, so the usual vouch safe is not in place for this job, but it is for the other one. Am I am I correct? I mean, the rays are the rays. If you're working for them, you know who you're dealing with. If you work for these friends, I'm not sure that I know who you're dealing with. And so the cigar, like, travels from one side of his mouth to the other one as he, like, rolls it with his tongue. And it's just like, okay. Do you want to work for the Wraiths or do you want to work for the friends of friends? And he like turns to the group and is like, I know. And he, he looks at Echo and he's like, I think I already know what this one wants to do. But I, you know, I could be just making an assumption based on dampness, which is an issue that I have that I need to work through. Don't always make assumption based on dampness, people. I don't have a particular desire to work for either of them. I work for the Rhodes Company, as we all do. And my interest is towards bettering ourselves. This misplaced map sounds very, very useful to me. As much as I figured. But gaining information and blackmail could help us move up. Don't, oh, I would be lying to say that one doesn't have any interest to me. Emily. Can we just do everything? I don't see why not. We Can we... It's not enough hours in the day. If we save the game here and then pick one... <laughs> oh, are they going to do the... Is that... Can we do that? I just, Iron Man saves. Yep. Quickly. Oh, no, Iron Man. Oh, why did I pick that option? I thought I was so badass. It. But boy. It's because you want it to be achievements eligible. <laughs> all right so I to... what i would say what he was well it all depends if you take an opportunity and when you come back the other one's still available fantastic if not i'm sure there'll be more work available there's never a shortage of work for folks who are willing to get their feet a little dirty i mean because I mean, out of character here. So, like... So, the map seems like a thing that would be time-sensitive. Right. Following this little noble brat around, we could probably do any day of the week. I just... Probably I was just going to... best for the rest of his life, so... I was, I was also just going to say, like, Morlin, or Char, is... Is he the only person that actually has Hunt out of everybody in this group? I think so. Um, no, I think I do. Oh. I don't. Oh, right. I don't. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, I would say there's probably there are, there are a whole bunch of different ways to kind of gather have, information. Oh no, 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 no. I know. I was just saying like if it if we wanted to do it bog standard, it could just be like Char goes, I'll take care of this part, and just like walks off, and will like do that job by himself, and then we can do the map thing as like a group. Yeah. No, I know. Look. I, I saw that look. I'm just saying it could you know if you want to do both at the same time, it could be a it could be a gather information roll and some I feel like focus of our thin forces might be where we want to be at. I mean are we cause can we if we wanted to gather information on this individual, could we start a clock to do that? Yeah, well I have Powell. That's true. Uh, so I can I can study him. The, and uh, the only thing that I'll say to answer your question, Randlin, mm -hmm. is that you can gather information on either of those things or anything else that you want. At some point, when we kind of lean into the score, then, you know, the, the entanglements from that and the results from that could, you know, have other effects. Or you could gather information on both for now and decide that uh, you, you know, based on the results of that, um, you know, Amancio's letting you know the What's deals around? are available. Right, right. And if any, and if at any given time you pursue your own business, that's okay. You don't work for me. 
I'm just here to connect people. What's yeah. the what's the connection cut? Is it ten percent? Because that's <laughs> you know a coin here, a coin there, adds up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that I'm drawn a bit more towards the time sensitive, uh, air quotes, map. Uh, a spoiled brat's going to be a spoiled brat and a mess for the rest of his life. And I feel like it's a lot easier for us to use our varied skill sets. Unless he's around that really, yeah, unless he's really into Cthulhu cults and then they decide he's the victim. Uh, and, but, you know, uh, yeah, I understand. I, I feel like if the messy rich kid is time sensitive on his, uh, indulgences i feel like his indulgences aren't necessarily a thing that i want to be pretty of <laughs> yeah no i'm fine with i'm fine with either one it doesn't matter to me i just uh did we know who the what the family name of this spoiled child was i don't you need to talk to our friend of a friend, friend of friends friend. of friends now you're kidding uh, Wait a minute. That was three friends. Hold on. That's like one more friend removed. I'm a little bit less likely to do three friends away from you, my friend. And he like pats him on the leg. Alonso kind of raises said, an eyebrow and then kind of shakes his head. Does this guy have a s snake lower body? Or is that the proprietor? No, that's, that? a, that's the proprietor of a different club. This is your friend. Okay. The, I, mean, the deal broker. I mean, if he wants yeah. to have a... I don't... I will touch his... Uh, snag the body, uh, uh, but it's still going to be in the knee region. Yeah, okay. He, this, as far as this individual is of Akarosi heritage, and right. it, it has the standard humanoid body plan. As far <laughs> as you can tell. Done to done. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not digging around for any. I got you. Okay. Either way, Rhodes is going to nod. Thank. Amancio and honestly after a little bit more small talk back and forth he's going to be on his way because this is a set of things to look into. Right. So once Rhodes like gets up and leaves I mean that's Char just like stands up and walks off. It, just so you all know Rhodes is honestly a terrible choice for a face because he just kind of goes <laughs> from place to place without really... I mean, I don't know why, yeah, I mean... Or mascot, then. Yeah. Char, yeah, Char is not a face either. I have one in a tune, so if you want me to, like, fail at talking to ghosts, yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, Char is just gonna like, follow you. Rhodes and company, and so you get to... <laughs> whenever you get bored, so does Char. Let's just put it that way, because that's... That's the trigger. In our relationship, you go, uh, this is boring, I'm leaving. And he's like, yeah, totally, me too. What a tribe, out. <laughs> so sorry about those two, Amancia. It's fine. Just whatever you end up doing, let me know. Always. Um, there's, there's somebody who you might be able to put us in contact with within, within the raids. I could certainly get you in touch with the Rays. I would be What's happy. The name. And at this point, the table and the couch like shift like two inches towards Armazio as Lull Ten. jumps off and just like walks <laughs> off. I mean, I feel like when Char and Rhodes left, there was that awkward like, oh, okay, tuck my feet in so you can get past me on the couch. Uh, okay. Thank you, Emma. That's very kind. Um, I'm going to scoot the couch back. So, as far as the Rays go, if you haven't already talked to them, their leader, they're all a little... They're pretty secretive. So you want to look for someone named Slate. She just closes her eyes for a second and says, I hate aliases. <laughs> You're in the wrong business, my friend. Don't remind me. Time to go talk to people. Thank you so much. Pleasure's mine. 
As we leave, I'm going to offer a handshake to Amancio. <clears throat> he reaches out. He's got a firm but not oppressive grip. Question. Does he stand up to shake my hand? No. Okay. It's not going to change anything. I'm just going to, on the way out, just sort of mutter to myself, what kind of person doesn't stand up to shake someone's hand? Not so like loud ain't... enough to hear because that Beryl would be... is so out of place at this location. Right. And Beryl, Beryl says this as he walks out and Char is leaning against the wall outside the door. He's like, somebody who thinks they're better than you. And just like blows smoke in your general direction. And if you inhale it a little bit, um, think about one time when you accidentally killed a small insect by picking it up and being too rough with it. This is the sensation that the smoke gives you if you inhale it. I would like to hope that at this point, uh, Beryl has interacted with Char three times and knows to hold his breath. He does yep. we mention more than me. Absolutely. No, no, no. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you picked up on that. I just wanted, that was my, I was like, Throughout this week, out of character, I've been writing down like Deathland smoke, things that it will make you think of if you breathe it in. So I just want to make sure that uh, I had a chance to put it out there. Yeah, so, exactly. Well, as, so as you're, oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say. So if you're interested in in talking to my friends, and their friends, and he gives you a slip of paper with an address on it on Bell Street, which is here in in Night Market. I'm gonna and, let eyes take it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to take it. <laughs> and if you talk to the Raiders, well, just let them know that Amancio sent you. That'll be enough. As I go out into Moreland's little uh, smoke blow, I just hold my breath and uh, flick some void black water droplets at his face. <laughs> I just I just do that, like, long as I walk forward. Yeah. And... So yeah, Moreland like takes what you're the water. Is that you didn't inhale, All right? Nope. <laughs> Nobody inhales Moreland smoke. It's a real bad idea. We're uh, close friends. We know how each other. Works. <laughs> we know how you work. So it's Moreland, toxic. yeah, Moreland like takes the void black water that you like splash on him and like picks it up in his fingers and just like licks it, um, and and then continues walking while puffing on a cigar and is like, I assume what we're doing is the map to Echo's house? Because that's, I mean, that's what that map said to me, right? Echo <laughs> wants to live here. Yes, the map. Hunting grounds tend to also be worth a lot of money, so. So, so, so are, to be so clear, are, the opportunity is either to help them find the buyer for it, or you could try to steal it and then do whatever you planned with it, though you probably wouldn't get paid for that. Directly. I mean, I mean, not immediately, I should say. Right when that when that was mentioned, Char made the assumption that Echo was just going to take it, no matter what. Like the map, if we do that job, we are not getting paid, which is why he was kind of like, "Let's do the soft kid, so that we can at least like get blackmail and get money," because that's what Char's about. He's about Char, that cash. Can we discuss this loudly back where we live instead of in the middle of the streets? <laughs> and he's just like, here, there, it doesn't matter. Everybody listens at some point. And he just I like walks up. It's harder for people to listen if there's nobody around. Then how will I hear you? So, where <laughs> are you headed? Slow blank. Actually, we can kind of abstract this out a little bit. Is there a any sort of information that you're looking to gather to make some decisions? Did we so, want to decide and discuss more, or do we want to try to put a little feelers out and then make decisions based on I information? I mean, put some feelers out and make some then make decisions. Yeah, sounds good. I thought we were. Oh, I thought I thought to engage Blades in the Dark properly, we weren't even supposed to do any of this, and we were just so. So there's two things, floor. right? There's the, ga the gather information during the free play. You're not, you shouldn't mm -hmm. plan a score, absolutely. No. Right. But you need to do it. You probably, for example, let's say that you 
wanted to take the blackmail job. Probably, I would call for a couple, we probably wouldn't play out the whole scene. I'd, I'd um, we probably have a couple of roles to get the information that you need to decide which plan and detail you want, because for example, right now, you don't know the name of the young noble to, to follow. Um, you do have the name of the wraith, uh, but you don't know much about the map, so we probably have like a like a consort or something like that to see what they're willing to tell you because this is their map they're trying to sell. Uh, they'll pay a finder's fee if you find a, help them find a buyer, but you don't know much about it just yet. But no, we're not going to get into like the detailed, okay, he goes to this club at this time and we've got to plan the ins and outs and this and that. You know, we don't have a map for that right. sort of thing. Right. So, I just wasn't... Right, the gather information part. I wasn't sure if we were even yeah. supposed to like really do anything other than we want to know where this the end and not like have a discussion about. Yeah, that's why I'm just kind of let's well, abstract it out a little bit. Uh, a me? discussion about what we want to do is relevant though, because right. then we know we need to know what score we're actually doing. Okay, so from from my standpoint, hunt is for a specific target. And survey would be what we would use to to hang out and look where the map is and to like look around to see what like guard rotation is or whatever. You know what I mean? Like gather information just to figure out where it is. Because that's what I'm wanting to gather information about, trying to find an exploit to. So like the neat part about gathering information in Blades in the Dark is you can actually use any method to do it. You could finesse it. You could decide to consort or sway. There isn't really a specific role for. Okay, gathering. I was just, right. I was just last session when I used Prowl, um, I was also then told maybe you should have used Hunt instead, and I was like, well, so that's. So what it really is is, depending on the specific way that you're trying to gather the information, so oh, that sounds like this kind of role, but any kind of your point forty, you're exactly right, you're completely right, any particular kind of action can be used to gather information but the, for example if you're going to talk to, to friends maybe consort is better than sway but it depends but if you so it might affect the type of information that you get and gather information in particular um, it might talk uh, you might get some level of uh, you know it's unlikely you'd get you know too much of a, of a problem from it but yeah. you know, the combination of your role plus the type that you do affects the type of information that you get. Also, okay. if you push yourself uh, during a gather information role and then you trauma out, do you give your friends the information before you freak out and uh, disappear? <laughs> I don't actually know because it's never happened in a game I've been in. And you can get us the core trauma, so. I mean, I'm asking for I the know person. exactly. I know. I'm specifically asking because I am too stressed away from trauming out on Hells, and uh, I'm kind of itching to do that so that I can start playing into his trauma. Um, but I just want to know if that's a thing, because I don't want to do it um, and have it just be no use. <laughs> I gather information about this. So long, suckers. All that information's gone with me. <laughs> um, I can tell you, but I'm too stressed out. Bye. I mean, okay. too real, too real. I mean, I can do that all. That's me in real life. <laughs> I got that info you need, but I can't really talk to you about it because I am freaking out. Um, I would say that in general, I think it kind of depends on the, you know, fiction first, right? Let's see how it is. You're, if you're doing it by trailing somebody, then yeah, you might not get back with the report if you, you know, unless you have somebody with you or, or what have you. Um, Got it. Buddy yeah. system. Yeah. yeah. If someone wants to come okay. with me while I go to check out the building this map is in, that might be a good idea because we don't want to go on our own. It's so, uh, uh, take uh, me uh, with you slight detour to what we were talking before. One of the fundamental assumptions of Blade Stark is that the player decides what type of action they're taking, but that affects the GM's position and effect. So you can try to wreck to uh, woo the Duke, but it'll probably have no effect unless you probably push yourself. You don't know the limited effect, right. Oh, no, yeah. no, I understand. I'm just yeah. saying, like, it was somebody, yeah, it was so it you sounds, there, so. So it sounds to me like y'all are kind of leaning towards 
just stealing the map for yourself. Is that right? Kind of, possibly. I, I mean, I want to know more about it so I can know if I can like so, duplicate yeah, it. Yeah, schmooze with them a bit. I mean, that's I the. I want money. Money. Right. I want the money, but I also want yeah. the map. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm notes. I'm up for get a copy of it, get our hands on for my, a while, make a copy of it, sell the original. Like I'm fine with that. And Char's not in depth enough of a thinker to think that you're gonna forge it. What he thinks is, you're gonna just take it and be like, now let's go here, let's go into the well, middle of the water. So Char kind of is like, <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, if we take this job, yeah. Really? Well, honestly, I if feel we like... copy it, we could sell multiple copies. <laughs> <Final Exactly. thing. laughs> yeah. Ah, Although the, the more like, copies we super sell, mad at us after that, but we're gonna make bank. Yeah, and the more copies we sell, if the word gets out, the less valuable that information becomes. I mean, that's why you sell like five at the same time. Yep. Uh, so, yes. Welcome to the most famous or infamous Sherlock Holmes, uh, <laughs> where it was just paintings. Okay. Anyway. So, what is it that you do? So. I figure we can go at this from various angles. Like, yeah. Char can definitely, like, tail some people, et cetera. I would um, buddy with Char. So Char, Char is very, like, okay, we have a job. Let's do it. Um, so, very... looks like you've got something there. Yeah. Since Amancio gave us two separate possible leads, a name and an address. Um, For two different yeah. jobs. Yes. The address was for the rich kid. Yes. Uh, Rhodes, he left thinking, oh, I'm going to start doing a little bit of information gathering, and then realized, you know, I don't have a name on this kid. How am I going to start gathering information to decide whether I want to do this? Like, but, but the thought behind it was I, I, I want to scope out these two, mm, scope's the wrong word. I want to know more about the two jobs before I pick one or the other. Like, rather, I want to know, in the case of the map, it's a map of a hunting ground, but who's hunting ground so I know who I'm pissing off. And in the case of the noble, I want to know who's asking the kid to be tailed so I know whose graces I'm getting into. Wait, are you a tinker? Hold on, I'm, I'm confused. Is this the spider or? <laughs> I'm a leech, but like, okay. all right, all right. think about while being right. very bad at actually. No, 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 I mean, it's good. Okay. I'm glad because Char's idea is like, we're doing the map one, obviously. That's why we left. And now we'll almost immediately walk to where they said the map was at and just like, so he didn't get so, but you didn't get an address for that. You just got a name of no. the leader of the. Race. I thought you. I thought you said that it was at a specific building. No. It wasn't. Oh, I'm. No, I'm the, best heard. Yeah, you're, compl you're conflating the two. So, yeah. Rose, which of those? You said you wanted to do one of two things. Do you know which one you want to do? Okay. So, the map seems more time sensitive to me. So I want to gather some information about that before anything else. All right, so what uh, information do you want to gather? I want to know who it was stolen from, who lost Ooh. this map. All right. And how are before you gonna... I get involved. How are you going to find that out? That's a good question. I can't I really study idea. to find that out, but what's your idea? So the ghost, uh, the ghost field is all around us and it is. full of wayward souls that you can commune with if you're careful. <laughs> We could, in, in a, a map of the hunting grounds, uh, has to be connected to the deaths of many sailors who've gone out and lost their lives there. If we could commune, tune with one of those ghosts, we might be able to find out what ship, and through that, who. But can we guarantee that any of these ghosts would have the relevant information? would they know that the map was gone in order to cause their death? Well, it's not necessarily the, the sailor's ghost, right? It's, you know, some random guard they got killed guarding the map that got stolen. So and they were... let's not bog, you know, too much of the different whys and possible. This is, that's where, that's what the blade is trying to avoid, right? Is okay. too much of that. Yeah. So let's do, it sounded like, um, sounded like 
maybe our damp friend wanted to do an attune roll to gather information. Yeah, I wanted to do an attune roll. The concept was attuning to some sailor who died connected to this item, this artifact. All right. All right. Could I... I got. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I have two in a tune. Does anyone want to do anything or bargain? Or I shall. I shall help you. And so how do you help with the attune? Well, I have a. a I have a point. Here. Yeah, I have a point in a tune. So, um, I think how how Char helps you is you're like getting out. I don't know. How do you how do you attune to sort of? Yeah. So I take this black liquid that is kind of. Uh, exists and creates, and I, I drip out a circle onto uh, like probably an empty slab of concrete somewhere in a rail yard and then I take uh, some items that uh, help me focus not necessarily connected to the thing but just, I hit a little necklace I wear which is a piece of coral with human fingernails that grow out of it and a few other idea I, items that I haven't quite fleshed out yet and place them and then I sit in the middle of it and attempt to attune okay so 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 there's the there's the help there right i was yeah i was going to okay um like push myself when i helped you to attune uh so push yourself as so you you either assist or you push on you either push yourself on your own role oh i see okay you push yourself on somebody but only if you help if you help is it Two stress still? It's one. It's, it's, yeah, that's what I thought. It's one you could take assist. a setup action, or you could do it as a group check, and you could push yourself on the group check. Well, that's what I thought we were going to do a group check. Or, or is that I mean, you're probably going to gather on like like more than one thing. So if you assist, there's on also there, that. Yeah. Right. So with when you lay down your circle of water, I think what happens is uh, Moreland like grabs a like a belt that he doesn't usually wear. Um, and fiddles around with some of the pockets and takes out like some dried herbs um, and just sort of crumples them into his hand and has them in his hand and he's just like here um, just just snort this I just and, do it yeah. yeah sure so there's an assist there can I offer you and anyone and any player can do the same with what I'm about to do would you like a devil's bargain? I, I am always willing to to entertain one. Oh, fair, fair. Um, so I think the, the where my mind is is you can take an extra die, but in the process you're probably going to attract some unwanted attention from spirits in the area. Bart is entranced by this, by the way. Just yeah. slob squatting nearby, just yeah. Um, so suggestion because actually, no, no, I'll just take it. Yeah, sure. Like that, there's like a 60% chance that was gonna happen anyway. Like, sure, that's fair. All right. Oh, so shit, I just start... got my dice ready, and I'm like, wait, we use roll 20. So, I'm gonna start a clock, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to call this clock uh, for now. We're just going to call it. Um, Good old fashioned echoes, something awakens. Echoes, echoes. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to tick it once. This is like risky, right? Uh, so gathering information doesn't have that. It's. Uh, um, you roll as many dice as you need to, right? But as many dice as you as you work out that you have, and then if you get a six, you get great information. Um, if you get a four or five, you get less information. If you get one to three, you get limited information. I guess I was under the impression you still had a uh, position, but not an effect level. Yeah, I think it's effectively it's like it's controlled, but it's not. Yeah. Really, because it's not right. actually an action. Anyway, go for it. Whoop! Oh yeah! Oh my god! I wish I got oh, a stat man. roll. Bow, 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 wow. bow. <laughs> nice. That. We'll just we'll say that it's almost four sixes, but that five is because whatever you snorted definitely oh. didn't. It was definitely not what you were supposed to help with. Wow. 
Okay, so that, that is the best roll I've ever seen in Blades in the Dark. Definitely get, so th th for those who can't see, you got three sixes and a five, which means that's a critical. Uh, you get exceptional details. The information is complete, and follow-up questions may expand into related areas or reveal more than you hoped for. Ooh. So, that is... You just love some forbidden knowledge. You're going to get some Oops. forbidden knowledge, I think. Oh, oh, good. I'm so, excited. a ghost materializes before you. And ghosts in, in Duskwall are remnants of this electroplasmic energy that kind of coalesce in front of you. And you see, indeed, a drowned sailor. Um, I'm going to tell you of Malia because Ooh. I remember something from your... I could be remembering incorrectly, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not. Hit me. I'm pretty sure you know this sailor. Ooh. This is a sailor who works for the Strangford family. Mm -hmm. Delightful. And worked for. Worked for, fair, yes. Um, who knows? I mean, to be honest with you, Hunters and Ghosts for Power is just like a thing, so... So, this, this ghost tells you that the map in question is not just a map, but is a book of maps used shows the secret hunting grounds of augured leviathan sites to be used by the by the strangford ship the storm palace in the next season he doesn't know this sailor has no idea where or how the raids got it however but they can tell you however and you would know this from in addition, based on your background in void sea navigation, which I know that as soon as you saw that in this book months ago, you were like, that's what I want to play. It's not just like a book, like a book, right? It's also to some extent a spell book and using it requires the navigator to do some attunement themselves. And so simply copying the book would be extremely complex at, if it's even possible because it's not just a book of charts. It is in some sense an artifact of arcane knowledge. The... the Sailor looks at you right before their ghost fades away. And suddenly, no one else kind of maybe can... Uh, you, well, actually, let me ask you this. When you do this, when you attune, did anyone else see that ghost? I, I think so, too. I think okay. so, yes. Yeah, right. yeah, I can't. Words, I think so. I mean, I'm, 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 you tell me. You, it, it depends on you know how you're doing it. And yes. right before, they have this look of recognition and point at you, and then they fade away. So right at the climax there, she reaches her hand out and it's just like water streaming down off her elbow, off her fingertips. And she just hangs her hand there and just, thank you. That was creepy. Quite. <laughs> <laughs> it always fucking and is, let me tell you. Jesus Christ. Her not face Christ. kind of goes from kind of this almost... Uh, you know, not entirely there to excited, to angry and frustrated and she takes her hand and smacks onto the floor and like water splash, splashes and she cracks herself stands up and says guess we have to do the other job and then she walks up what was it she said? we have to do the other job all right. Bart nods, kind of understanding, but 100% agreeing. So, well, the, the Rhodes, you had mentioned that for the other job, you were interested in first finding out who these other people were. 
Yeah, who, who it is that wants this. Fair. So how are you going to get that information? I mean, he gave us an address. Right. To go meet this person. I guess. Maybe okay. not, actually. I was going to say, do you want... I mean, we can check them out by just like hanging around and waiting to see who comes in and out of the building and sort of following them around. And much like Amalia, I could use my ghost mind because I can sense ghosts and be like, hey, who is here? Also true. So how do we want to do this? I can schmooze and beat people up. <laughs> Listen, we have our ways. We're very talented. Look, Spooky look. weird or normal people. Stuff. We are professional weird people. Spooky weird. <laughs> I mean, professional I'm weird in how much I hang out with y'all weirdos, and I'm just like big. Yeah. I mean, you're like yeah. Okay, you Part say that the most weird. normal out of all of us. It, it, until he takes the ability to literally lift a cart above his head and like throw it. Yeah. At him. I, I mean, one v six grown adults. Right, it's not exactly. like average, but I feel like I'm normal. So yeah, I mean, Char after like, um, Echo says we can't do this job, or you know we have to do the next job. Um, Char turns to Rose and is like, "All right, where are we going? What are we doing?" Next is to find out about our mysterious friend of a friend. Okay, I can do that. I mean, he, the way that Char will do this is hang out across the street, smoking cigars and waiting for people to like walk in and out and like follow them around. This is what they will do. This is what he says he will do. Um, and then waits for everybody to disagree with them is probably not the best idea, but he... <laughs> it probably is not the best idea. Right, exactly. This is... Uh, you... But whispers you can could talk to ghosts. make a great distraction for eyes to do what she needs to do. I mean, and see, that's the whole point. If you want to tell Char that it's a brilliant idea and then tell eyes later, like, actually, you do your thing and let Char just wander off and be like, hey, everybody. Let the weird purple sharpshooter do their thing over there. Yep. Yeah, I feel like Eyes' method would be have a garment bag, look like she's delivering something, use her eyes to scan and scope out an interesting supernatural or spiritual presence. And my assistance is popping the collar on my cloak, putting my hat down a little bit lower, lighting a cigar that poisons people, and waiting for someone to walk out of that building and just follow them to wherever they're so going. This sounds like two different gathering information to me. One is a turn to the ghost field, and one is tracking. Oh, if, okay. If it's if it's too much of a thing, then I will just assist her when she's attuning to the ghost field. Pretty much the same way that I helped. I will be. I will have like a bandolier strapped on my shoulder, and you're like sitting with your garment bag, like I don't know, knitting or something on the corner while you're staring off into space, assisting via distraction, and then fugue stating into the crowded streets. Right, and 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 Char will just like hand her um, instead of like ground up leaves that you have to snort. He just hands you like a sweet, and it's just like a little candy that's actually like individually wrapped. He's like, look, um, just so you know, I I like you a little bit better than Dampy. And hand you this. He's like, you don't have to actually snort it. Just suck on this and you'll be fine. So I'll give you a similar devil's bargain there, Eyes. If you want, you can uh -huh. take an extra die. But your rival, the Possessor Ghost, will be entangled into, not to be entangled, it, it, yeah, will be uh, in, alerted and involved in the whole situation. I mean, with Ghost Mind, I have a plus one dice when I gather info about the supernatural. I'm just asking you if you want another one, it's up to you. You can take it or leave it. Or but someone else could offer another Devil's Bargain. 
Anything nope. I can think of is just derivative of the one that Amalia had. Let's go. Okay. Here comes Nyrix. Um, so a tune. All of the entanglements. I'm so excited. All of the entanglements. But you, but you, you just to be clear, are you, you're not taking the devil's bargain, right? No, I am. Let's, oh, let's okay. do it. Awesome. I'm doing it. Awesome. <laughs> we party in this party. Yes. Bonus dice plus two bonus dice plus three. Plus. Is the assistance? It's three. It's three because I assisted you. Yeah. Which traumas me out, but we're gonna wait for that to be. I miss you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So so such sad news. Oh. Five, oh. five, five is all right. I know. Just, we got those dice. All of the good rolls. I just want to point out this is not an action roll. So this is standard. You get good details. Clarifying and follow-up questions are possible. The first thing that you find out is that these friends of friends, these unnamed, unindicted co-conspirators, <laughs> are actually the, I'm probably going to say the name wrong, the Skov, the Skov Consulate. Okay. The Skovlanders, huh? Like the Skovland? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. They're the ones who who are, they, they the house itself comes, um, has the the ghosts there have seen Skovlander officials coming in and out from time to time. And it has, as you attune to the ghost field around it, it has a particular what in the physical world we would think of as aroma it's the closest analog to how this feels in the ghost field there's a sense of scavengers at this house is it like is it a regular house or is it a it's like a town okay. house yeah okay so it's a brownstone Cool, great. Okay, yep. As a Scovlin refugee, this is great. So, is this the score that you're going to take? I think this is the score. I mean, uh, there is some discussion in chat, uh, or in Zoom chat, excuse me, about yeah. um, a different option or a different way to go for um, the map. So, it, it's whatever um, people are feeling. Yeah. Do we want to try? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Malia is reticent to to ro get back in the role with the Strangford family because she has been very careful not to be involved in that area since she came back. In which yeah. case, knowing that, well, has of Molly has shared that. Because if not, uh, I'm Rhodes isn't gonna know that, so he'd be pushing for this map, but like knowing that he'd be like, We're not touching the map. Um she's mentioned no I don't I don't think she's ever mentioned her last name. No, actually go ahead and push. That'll be that'll be a fun dynamic. Okay, this is without hells, by the way, because he gives eyes that piece of candy that helps your tune roll. And then he like looks down at you and and goes, "This is I, what are we doing here? I ruining a kid's life? That's not why I'm here. I want to make money. I don't understand this group of people. Let's ruin some kid's life. I we're not doing the blackmailing. We're getting things for other people to do them. No." Where's my cash? And he just like walks off. Um, and vanishes into the trauma sphere. <laughs> that was dramatic. That was dramatic, even for me. So eyes would just look after you while sucking on her candy. Like, yeah, I know, I know. I mean that that's the whole point. I mean, I feel yeah. like yeah. And Bart like looks after, realizes that following is a it's a bad idea for everyone involved and just kind of like 
hopes for you. And to be clear, Lal stays with y'all. Like, Lal does not come with Morlin. Like, Morlin oh. walks off, and the cat just sort of hangs out in the... Bard in the... is going to pet that cat, because that cat's probably lonely now. That's how you know it's going to be bad. You don't have the... You don't have, um... Your cat looks at you and goes, mm, I'm not absorbing that negative vibe. Exactly. The cat's like, nah, too much. I'm good. I've had cats like that. So I want to take a break in just a minute. So before we do that, are y'all going to uh, go have that conversation with them and then do the score? Got to make a choice. Conversation with... Are you are pushing? You, do you want to get the details on the score yeah. to for the blackmail? Wait, listen, Isa's Eyes Eyes vote is for the blackmail because yeah, I'd be helping. So you, Wally, when y'all go, when we go to break, I'd like to know which, if that's the score you're going to do. Okay. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're sure. here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go to break real quick. About five minutes or so. I'm going to grab a drink. Everybody take care of whatever business they're going to take care of. And uh, here we go. Welcome back to Blades in the Dark. Dusk Vault Alliances. When last we left our scoundrels, they were planning to engage in another score. But now we have a new member of the crew showing up that we haven't previously seen. Ranlin, tell us about your new character. All right. Well, let's see. There was um, a lot of talk of this crew not having any sort of spider influence uh, while trying to do a bunch of different jobs. So, um, welcome Grine Infram, uh, his alias is Wife, um, to the crew. I can change the name and the thing in a second. But he is a spider. Um, and he has taken uh, Foresight as a special ability. So two times per score, you can assist a teammate without pain stress. And then uh, it's pretty much just me being like, I have seen all of this coming to fruition, and this is how I help you. Um, and yeah, I don't know. He he is tall and wiry. Um, he's Taika Rossi. Uh, and when I say tall and wiry, I mean like, his arms and legs are a good like foot or two longer than most people. And so when he like reaches for things or like sits down, there's like extra leg and extra arms. Um, he How always- are we talking? Yeah, he always wears a large brimmed hat. Um, he wears tall, like tall riding boots, um, extra tall riding boots. Um, and he wears like a wax coat all the time. I am not going to put that on because it is warm here and I refuse to RP Sweatyman, which is a different character. Um, and he walks with a cane, much like this. Um, and yeah, that also happens to be what he uses to skirmish with, is a very piece of wood. Matt, I was thinking similar. He's either a Slenderman or a Gaunt. Yeah. Yeah, how tall is he? Um, I don't, because it's not like freakishly tall, I don't think. I don't think I could be like 10 feet tall, but. Yeah. So I guess more about the proportions than the height. Right, exactly. So I, I'd say he's like six feet tall. So he's not really like, extra, it's just like. So his torso is like this and his, his legs are. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Six like, and like 120 or something. He's like a four year old draws a, draws a person. Yep, exactly. I'm, I'm imagining of Molly just seeing you the first time and going, where are your organs? I would love to find out. And yeah, I mean, Grind would just be like, I don't, they're there, I hope. I don't know. I've never inspected it myself. <laughs> would you like someone to do it? We do have a resident butcher. You mean physicker? Physicker. And, I don't know what I said. And, yeah, and, and, <laughs> and Grind like turns to you and says, butcher, physicker. They perform the same function, and his like long arm, like Wrong. reaches out they and do touches. The same methods. Right. Butcher and, can't make you alive again. And his hand reaches out and like grasps your shoulder, and he's like, "And in my experience, 
neither can a physiker and like gives it a little squeeze like creepy squeeze um delightful so <laughs> precious you, you go into this house you meet with the scoblander Jesse, what do you think the typical Scotlander accent sounds like? Uh, I think it sounds like um, like a Scandinavian Swiss accent that oh, I'm yeah. not. Oh <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that Wisconsin? Hold on, time out. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, howdy! <laughs> oh no, there it goes. Like, like, okay. I, I got so it. Wells Fargo now. Oh god. Oh. Where they settled well, here? Don't you know, back there in Wisconsin, when no. so no, wait, no, that's canon now. It has to be. That's the act. Um, the person that you meet with, a relatively young woman with hard eyes and short hair, and she informs you that friends of hers would like you to find out what you can about an individual by the name of Talker Penderin or Penderin I'm not sure how you actually say it P-E-N-D-E-R-Y-N Talker Penderin and what they would like to know they are aware that he spends significant time here in Night Market and he's been seen ducking into neighborhoods his family wouldn't approve of. And they just like to know what he's doing in these clubs. But the catch is, he usually has a minder or two with him. And it's important that you not be seen finding out what he's doing. And of course, it should go without saying that this can't lead back to them. Hmm. That can be done. It can be arranged. So, <laughs> you've chosen your score. You have the yes. basic information. Now you just need to choose an approach and a detail. So are we coming at this kid in the club, about the club? I think we need to find, is it a club? Like. Well, so what you know without even, there's no rule required for this. There are, there are many different kinds of clubs. There are clubs like dance clubs, mm -hmm. right? But there are also social clubs and there are also places where people can indulge their vices and scandalous appetites of many many different types and that's what they don't know and that's what they want you to find out okay they it's not that he's just going to the club <laughs> because that wouldn't bring you that that's not interesting to them that's not worth blackmailing. That's, the thing is, <laughs> that's where his family thinks he's going, is to he one of these regular club. kind of, you know, dance clubs. You know, they assume there's some sort of like tolerable level of vices going on. But the friends of your new friend believe that there's something going on there that's much less tolerable than just, you know, a more than weed a little bit. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, you have different types of plans that you can uh, choose to engage in, right? You've got assault, occult, deception, social, stealth, or transport. So choose one that makes sense, and then, and then provide the detail. What you, if you were going to use occult, what kind of arcane power? If you were going to use stealth, what's your entry point? Transport probably doesn't make sense, although... If you've got an idea, you know, we can talk about it. 
And I personally would rather not assault. And and yeah, Wythe... As the cutter, no. I mean, Wythe sort of... Well, they don't want you knowing that you've got the information. So I'm sorry, Wythe, what? Wythe um, pipes up and he says, well, it seems to me, and he like crosses his long legs and puts his hands on top of his knee and is just like, if we are nice to him and sidle up to him, maybe he'll lead us to the places that we want to go. I and my astute bodyguard, and he like long arm reaches out and like grabs Barra by the shoulder. Um, it's weird, but I'm here for it. <laughs> could make a could make a connection in a social sphere with this individual, and the rest of you can provide assistance where needed. And he like leans back, and his arm like retracts from the shoulder, and he just sets it back down. I love uh-huh. how you use the word retract there. I want it noted. Like, just extend. Extend, retract. retract. So it's like basically game for anything, but that right there, like, as the hand goes back, just a little. <laughs> Question. Is it on some of what we need to attain here? Do we need some sort of physical proof or just watching and finding out suffice. Physical proof would result in a bonus, but it's not required. Okay. Do you photographs words, yes. Yes. I'll say you this. Exist. It's the payoff is six coin, but if you can bring back physical proof, it'll be eight coin. And uh, is there an opportunity to haggle that price. I don't, you know what? I don't I'd think- I'd love to haggle. Right, okay, all right. Do, do sure. photographs exist in this setting? Do what? Photographs. Photographs. Mm, like, I think some kind of like early, like what we might think of as like the yeah, or something. Or, uh, it might be difficult yeah. to have like a, you know, spy camera. Nah. Not really Not spy a camera, useful but... tool for paparazzos. I mean, we can't have a little smiley face button with a secret cam inside it. it I mean, we have like a leech, right? So technically, yes, <laughs> we can have that. Like a one-off camera that will take a picture of this person, like, you know, kissing a tentacle or whatever they think and is not acceptable behavior. You definitely build one. I could, I built some bullshit couch. Yeah, I was gonna say that. So it sounds <laughs> to me like you would probably need to craft one right and that's so, probably not something you're going to do during the score so no. what's your plan is it going to be social is it going to be stealth is it going to be oh. i feel like we're maybe, between those two maybe a social plan and try to find out if the place has like a guest book or a log you know something leaning on stealth of maybe a theft of an item yeah i i agree i feel like especially with clubs involved socials the way to and, go. And Wythe like looks at both of the whispers and is like, could you rip the information that this person was in these places from somebody's mind? <laughs> I can roll a tune for a lot of bullshit. I'm not sure that's with, if within we, it. If you can if we can capture individuals and sort of make and ensure that they see what they need to see and then are brought forth as evidence. I, I could can you sway some people into thinking our way? That can sounds like an, that sounds like maybe an occult plan. Right. That's what yeah. Yeah. White that, is that White is trying occulted. to we have two whispers and so White is trying to be like Hello, weird people. You are the weird people. <laughs> Not me with my weird arms. Yeah. <laughs> it's you um, with magics. Isn't there some item that the leech has access to that's like a truth serum type effect? Yes, in I fact, I like... have all kinds of fun alchemicals. So yeah, I feel like I had one of my players do that. But, but the thing is, we're not. he is not supposed to know 
that we have information, right? So we can't actually uh, like drug him, bring him forward. That would have to be a secondary person who we then have to deal with. So maybe not. Well, I mean, look, I will take this vial of slumber essence that I have and put it in anybody's whatever. Uh, I was thinking we drug the uh, the watchers, his little minders, and just conveniently follow him someplace. Yeah, I mean, oh, but so the, your plan is, is it sounds like it's stealth, and the point of infiltration is where. It sounds like the point of infiltration can be ab- I mean, it can be abstract, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm not convinced the plan is stealth because th- actually going in, I feel like we're not. It's almost more deception. Okay. Right. So right. the method of deception is. We want to party with you, bruh. I mean that's uh, yeah. social though, right? But, so yeah, so I mean, deception I feel like... is lure, trick, or manipulate. Social is negotiate, bargain, or persuade. So, yeah, so trying to I feel like trying manipulation. To, trying to uh, dress up and pass would be deception more, more than social. Okay. Yeah, I, you, yeah, I... to, you sounds like you're trying to. Were you still planning on drugging someone, or what was the thing you were doing I with mean... the minders? I was going to drug the minders because I don't want them getting involved in bothering us. And then so, just fuck the kid while he goes on a bender? Okay, so yeah. it sounds to me like this is deception, and the method of deception is drugging the minders. Yeah, okay. unless we are opposed to that plan. You you all tell me. I, I just have, like, the worst amount of skills to help this plan come to fruition You'll be other fine. than you. I'm sure it's fine. I feel like all the time. <laughs> I feel uh, like can we... oh, go ahead. No. oh yeah. I feel like the attack point here can be a very specific what we want to do and we have a task force for that. And the people without the skills therein can like like keep an eye out I and I can just kind of like schmooze and distract while roads like dip something in their drink. So yeah, let's not over plan it. Right. Right? Well, I don't know. I, was, I know. I, yeah. so, I was wondering if we wanted to do like one gather info to try to know what type of club it is. That's fair. Okay. Like the very one broad quick stroke. One. Let's do one okay. quick one. Um, do we want a survey? Maybe a consort. You know, go check it out. Could yeah, I mean, nine? yeah. For sure. I feel like and you tell me, consort is more. Is you can certainly consort, but if you consort, what you're doing is you're doing it through socializing with people who might know this person, versus like following them. I feel like this is survey. No. I mean, you uh, can you uh, can consort. Just that consort uh, is going to be about talking to people about it. My head I, was. We know where the club is. Walk in the door and and sign up for the daily which is, whatever. Which is survey, yeah. Survey. Yeah, that's because that's I figured the social to... aspect of that would be more salient than the watching part of that. But... Sure. Either way, I mean, it doesn't matter. I grind can do either of those things. So, so who's um, doing it? And what are they doing? All right. So I think grind if that's okay with everybody i sort of have inserted myself into this crew <laughs> i'm like hello everybody surprise it's like me. Rotating you're extended that point you're what jesse i feel like we have a rotating cra- cast of crew members and we are all welcome and are friends with each other okay. yeah i think we can just assume that somebody's already a member of the crew although i'm curious um so maybe you said mentioned earlier that maybe barrel is your bodyguard that's the linkage there Sure. I mean, that works. I was just using That's that. That's what I could sign up for. Yeah. Cool. It's just something that I had used. So, uh, what, so. Carol, I mean, with it. Yeah. So I think, um. So you're going to go in there and I, see? Wife will, like the day before we, the job is set up, wife will go in and schmooze and hang out in the thing and try and get the lay of the land. Right. And try. So that, that, you're, you're basing that on the, on the club where you think that he may be going. Right. Right. Correct. So, yep. Um, Devil's Bargain, if you take an extra die, but somebody will remember your face. And joints. Yeah. Yeah, my elbow. 
Um, does anybody one have an, a, a different one or two have a way of helping me in this situation or is I was thinking like if we've got that sort of like bodyguard slash ward relationship going on even if it's just as an illusion or whatnot I think that I would come in and assist you with your consorting slash surveying sure okay. if only to like connect our us in people's minds so it's not atypical when right. we show up the next day together. Right. So if, sorry, is it possible for more than one person to offer help? Or is that we okay? We get one bonus die for help. Okay. There are other types of teamwork available. Right. We could do a group action too, if we want to try and get all of our sixes. I wanted to, but for just to gather information. Right, true, okay. Yeah, I want to wrap up the gather information and get to the swarm quickly, otherwise we're spending okay. too much time kind of doing sure. training. Yep, okay. So one die of help, uh, and I'm just going to roll and sort because it's the same as survey. Take a little stress for that help. Yeah. Ooh, not three. good. All right. A three bad, oh, nope, wrong one. This is not plenty of engagement. This is gather information. This is limited information. When you walk in, they don't really seem to like you very much. You're kind of... Um, not in the sense that I mentioned the devil's bargain, not they all remember your face, but they kind of look at you like you don't really fit in here. And you look around, it's a pretty creepy vibe. There are symbols on the wall of earth, wind, and fire. And because it's the 21st of September and I had to. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they kind of run you out pretty quickly. Okay. I mean, wife. Yeah, must. I think what happens is, and Barrel sees this. The wife like leans on the table and like looks at the bartender or whatever, and then like asks a really obvious question that sound, makes him sound like a cop because he used to be a cop. He used to be an investigator. So he's like, "What's all this then, eh? Up to no good, friends?" And <laughs> oh, get out. Bart tries not to decadence. Yeah, exactly. Hello, fellow uh Hello, cult. Fellow sinners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um you we're gonna do your engagement role. Now you can draw whatever conclusions you want from the things that I said there, but let's get to the engagement role. This is when it gets kind of fun. So you have an, you have a basic one die for good luck. Um, is this operation overly complex or contingent on many factors? I don't think so. Does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I think so. Yeah, I think there's a definite argument for that. Yep. Um, is the target strongest against this approach? Do they have particular defenses or special preparation? Um, I don't think special defenses against this particular thing. Can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? Hmm. I mean, if it's a cult, possibly my friend Melissa, but uh, eh, we don't know for certain. So I mean, I have a my friend is a blue coat archivist so if there's any like information that the blue coats have on this club that might be useful but uh, exactly. again but that's but that's like for gathering information that might not be for uh helping for um the drugging, or drugging people um, okay. my friend the witch might have some some goods <laughs> how's, how, how is how is how uh, is are they helping out I feel like I would have gone to my good friend and his name is because I've got things Quellen. Um and I remember Quellen. Tell her about our, our predicament kind of in that we need Okay. Something so to help. Depending on the result, it could be that depending on the results of the engagement role, it could be that uh, you have some help from them. Any enemies or rivals interfering in this operation? Not at the moment. Um, any other elements that to consider? I don't think so. So I think that is three dice for your engagement roll. 
So let's see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. Start desperate like last time. Five. Oh, not bad. Not so bad. It's a mixed result. You're in a risky position when the action starts. So we're going to cut to right when. So you're inside. Rhodes, you're getting ready to drug the minders. What's your. Um, and you see. What you see is a, is a member of the wait staff who is dressed, I'm just going to say rather scantily and leave it to that level of detail. Okay. Um, you know, with a tray of drinks, and they're about to go up to where the minders are, and you're about to drop that in, but it's kind of risky. They could see you. What, which of your alchemical bandolier things are you going to be dropping in? So you've got some specific ones here. I do. Should we decide load? Oh, I'm. Um, thank you for reminding me. Yes. My load. If everyone can choose their load, the woman and I don't know what it is. Wait a sec. You are so right. I got you, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna put that. in some trance powder. In yeah, I'm trying to. I'm like, well, you only choose the load, so right. not the items yet. So, but she's also answered the question. That I, oh, it's okay. yeah, you're also, okay. yeah, I am definitely light um, on this one. Light. We is, have, everyone uh, going, is anyone not going light? We have thieves' tools too, right? Thieves' yeah. rigging, yeah. Rigging, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is everyone going light? Is that the plan? Yeah. Got to blend in. Have yeah, I know. I got got to get ready to never forget that earth, wind, and fire. You know what I mean? Just don't don't forget it. Do you remember? I mean, do you? I, mean, I remember. Edie. We're likely to dance I mean, the night we away. We are dancing the night away. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't think that this was literally part of the setup as I prepared this. No, I believe it. Yeah. I, I, I was there for your, your white wedding references and all that yeah, yeah. No, in fact, my daughter is at a for her high school for, for one of her school clubs they have a 70s movie night it wasn't an 80s night until they remembered what night it was and they had to make it a 70s night um, Perfect. okay so um everybody's at light so you're about to drop that powder in but just at that moment the minders are kind of starting to turn around what do you do to make sure I think there should be some kind of role here to make sure that you can drop this in. Um, the wait staff, the one that's alerted, or the minders are. The minders, all the wait staff are clearly going to see. Okay. So that's I mean, why it's I, risky. Right. I, I think um, White is going to use his uh, fine cover okay. ID. Oh it no. Might be, but I want to see first what what um, Rhodes is doing as they're there's, he's dropping in the drugs. As far as for like the wait staff, I just kind of wink at her as I'm about to put this in there because come on, this is about to be funny. This might be one of those kind of clubs. Yeah, okay. I, I get the feeling this is one of those kind of places. <laughs> okay. As far as they go, as I notice they're they're starting to notice me. Um, I, I don't know how to 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 describe this, but like. I guess trying to get the uh, the waitress to, to, to kind of turn with me so that she is between me and the minder so they don't quite see. So I'm not sure what kind of role that would be. That sounds like it might be finesse, maybe? I could believe that. Mm -hmm. Make it look kind of like a little dance. Dexterous manipulation or subtle misdirection. Of course, yeah. it could also be sway. If you're if you're just focusing on the on the uh, uh, wait staff, persuading via body language and all that, yeah. yeah so, so it's up to you, of course. So I almost kind of want to go with sway, but I have no dots in it, so I will need help. What if you went finesse? I would have one dot, and I would either push myself or need help. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would definitely. So either wife, way, I need help. <laughs> right, wife of the use foresight at this point, but yeah. 
I will help you that way. All right. So what's the foresight that you. Yeah, it would definitely be that wife remembers the wait staff's name from when they were there before and sort of uses um, that to get their attention. Okay. It'd be like, you kind of knew that they would be a little bit out of it themselves. Okay. I mean, so I, I mean, I know their name, so I draw attention to myself okay. and, and get them, have them sort of move. That in is a... definitely worth one die. Um, the see devil's bargain. You could take an extra die, but someone else in the room will see you. Hmm. I think I would rather push myself on that. I that's tempting. I will give you that, but we we've okay. got a no facial recognition of us uh, strange folk. Right. Hmm. <laughs> but we are strange folk, so that nope, nope, not doing that. <laughs> Got, we, we might have too many entanglements by the end of this. Right. I was going to say, please, we have a few already, if you could just... <laughs> dig it. All right. So... Okay, so um, what a web we weave. Sounds like you've got one extra die plus maybe two if you push yourself. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to go with finesse because I'm not the one swaying. I'm just trying to take advantage of his so distraction. We're going to call this, well, you started a risky position, so it is risky. And I'm going to say that it potentially could have great effect. Okay. I get two bonus dice because pushing self and help. Four. Not, not terrible, I should say. No, no, that's um, not terrible at all. Um, so let's see. So we've got... There's risky, there's a consequence. You suffer harm, a complication occurs, you have reduced effect, you end up in... A, I think what's going to happen is that as you do that, the um okay but by the way because this is collaborative anyone can feel free to suggest but a, a complication but i think that the i think there should be a complication here and i think that maybe the complication is that as you're dropping in this trance powder you kind of lose a little bit of where it is and some of it goes into your drink as well and you don't notice it right away. I mean, that's fine. I hadn't intended to actually drink while here, but you may not. You may not. But like, you're probably carrying around a drink. Yeah. Right. And probably some has gone in that you didn't notice. Yep. So, after a moment, the minders take their drinks. There's two of them. They look identical, by the way. They look like these kind of big hulking guys with their heads on a swivel. And they take these drinks, they're in, they're really big, broad shouldered kind of guys, and they take it. And after a minute, they kind of lean to each other and kind of get a little bit sleepy. And the next thing you know, they're like propped against each other like a triangle standing up, right? And kind of, and nobody really pays them any mind because it is that kind of club as you see so um at that moment i think uh somebody else comes out there's you see your 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 target up come towards the front of the crowd there's like a little a little platform there and three people come out three hooded people with these blood red robes tall triangle heads like super tall and they start intoning and everyone holds up their drink oh no as if to take their drink <laughs> what do you do i guess we're going with the flow unless you don't 
you don't. I mean, can we resist the consequence of you them? You can absolutely. That's what. Uh, so I, I tell you a consequence. You can right. take stress and and um, try to reduce the or or limit it to consequence. Right. So I mean, you always have. It. So to be clear, just for anybody watching and for any new players, you know how some people talk about how they had a bad DM and a bad in a, in a game and the GM is like, this is what happens to your character. And you look in the eye like, no, I don't think so. That's not what happens. In this game, that's actually a mechanic. At any right. given time that I tell you there's a consequence, you can say, no, I don't want that to happen. And you just, your character takes some stress for it. There's a role for it for a resistance role. So you can certainly do that. So I will say that the consequence of this is gonna be that you're gonna fall unconscious not harmed in other ways. I mean, there is that level, but you're going to take this condition sort of, um, you can choose to resist and take stress instead. That's up to you. And that's if we drink with them or if we- Everyone is holding up their drinks and you see them all going back to take a swig, but so the question is, does your, your character falls unconscious unless you resist? That's really what I'm saying. And this is Florida's character specifically? Yes, Florida's character oh, okay. only. Okay, 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 okay. Only, was, only roads. Uh, I, I will definitely I was kind of wondering if they were I'm all drunk. Like, oh, no, 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 sorry. I, I had no idea this was one of those clubs. Yeah, so <laughs> this would be a, a prowess so you have two dots and prowess. I do. So you can read that. So you roll that two, and then you take six stress minus the highest die result. Okay. And I will tell you that what will happen is your head will be kind of foggy for a moment. You won't fall unconscious, but just for a moment, you're kind of like whoa. But yeah. You're not gonna you're not gonna roofie yourself if you resist. That sucks. Is there a specific button to press to resist? I feel like Rhodes is pretty carryable. I mean, if you click prowess, because that's yeah. what you're using. Yeah, you click on prowess. That's okay. what you do. Yep. Yeah. All righty. I get no bonus die. Ooh, very good. Very good. No stress for you. You Your head is a little bit cloudy, but you are not going to fall unconscious, and you take that's no stress sick. for it. Rhodes parties, apparently. Yeah, yeah, Rhodes knows Rhodes. what's up. Rhodes parties. <laughs> Rhodes so, may have accidentally ingested some of his own. As everyone <laughs> takes a drink, those three people that are up there, have, it's kind of, their chanting gets louder. And these symbols on the wall of earth, wind, and fire literally start to... Um, transmute themselves so one of them all of a sudden you see it literally kind of coming out of the wall as stone one of them the the air around it starts to swirl as if there was some vortex in the air in front of it and then the other one bursts into the symbol itself bursts into flame and after a moment you see crawling out from those symbols these humanoidish creatures. These creatures have their skin is bubbling and roiling. The and when they speak, it's as if the air itself is is pulled in, and you can feel that vibration deep, deep inside your 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 chest. Don't like that. No. What is you do? our yeah? Is what it is a safe our assumption that these are demons? Just uh, is, is that a safe assumption? Doesn't That's... feel like an unsafe assumption. I think you have some sense. That's what's going on. Okay. What is our uh, target doing? He's watching them with radiant eyes like like eyes level of glowing eyes or like... not yet <laughs> yeah i mean i think 
immediately like Wythe look tries to look away um when he sees that on the note of looking away uh Beryl's likely to assess any like threat that shows up so this might be a mistake I'm going to look at the hecking demons and try and gauge like body language what they're like looking to do are they here to party are we looking at like human sacrifice stuff so you're eat? taking an action right yeah so, I'm gonna survey is that a survey all right um do, do, do. the obvious devil's bargain obviously is, is literally that you could take the extra die but they notice you watching them <gasps> Oh boy! Uh, all right, so here's the here's but the somebody else fight. has an idea. I have an alternate devil's bargain. The demons don't care about you, but the cult guys do. Okay. I can take them. All right. Why? Here comes Beryl. Okay. So, question: How large are these demons? They're crawling out, but they are somewhat larger than your average adult male. By they somewhat... are not. They are not. They are not like house size. Sure. They are not. They, think of them as as the size of like the size of large livestock, like a like a cow or a bull. Okay, that gives me an idea. Uh, yeah. It's um, kind of intense. I do think. You, do you want any help? Uh, yeah. If why, actually, why seems like the observant type who might have some insights on this sort of thing, what with being weird and... I would love some help. Do I have tentacles in that? Hold on, am I like a... No, like, just like extra joints and... Like, just like, you oh, gotta your fingers and do like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now I just want to eat your I brains, can. by the way. <laughs> okay. I would love some help, and I think I... will not take that devil's bargain as tempted as I was. Okay. Are you sure? Maybe if oh. anyone have any other devil's bargains to offer them? I mean, I think... yeah, the only other devil's bargain that I can think of is you are into this. Like, you watch this and you're like, oh, you this. Become yeah. entranced. Oh, I think. Yeah. I think I could take the devil's bargain on being entranced more than anything. We're currently on the DL, and I don't feel like barreling just yet. Right. Once, once stuff starts hitting the fan, I'll be that fan. But like for right oh. now, I'll, I'll take the entranced devil's bargain. I'm gonna take. A... I will push myself. Okay, right. so entranced by them, I'm digging. Oh, uh, I wait, don't wait, believe wait. you can devil's bargain don't and push. Devil's bargain. Right. Oh, yeah, it's devil's bargain oh. or push. Correct. I will take so, the devil's bargain then and not push. All right. So okay. I marked off a stress and I'm gonna help you with survey as well. And All I right. this was just good. kind of like I, yeah, I notice you and I'm like, don't forget about the eyes. And then you look at their eyes, which is a mistake. <laughs> Things that I do. Right. Alright, let's see that roll. So we've got help and devil's bargain for two bonus dice. Correct. What's the what? position? Oh. Uh, uh, a critical. Nice. This barrel oh. dab I hold on. Whoa, 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 timeout. So and Meryl doesn't know how to dab. Okay, all right. I that, so I was going to say, just character. for future reference, and it would have been okay in this case, we should check the position and effect first. Mm, okay. But in this case, it was going to be risky standard, so Fair. it was fine. Um, so critical, though, critical in this case, so you're trying to see what they are about to do? Yeah, I'm looking to gauge, like, are they menacing are they looking to pounce at something where are they looking in the room yeah, what yeah. their so, intended is to be sure what the, so with the critical a they are about to consume some people b that yeah. was not what the people in this room thought was this is the extra bit from the critical that wasn't the intention this wasn't a to be clear this wasn't a we're sacrificing people this is a oh we're going to see some demons the demons are like, mmm, tasty. And then the demons did the demon thing. Yeah, the demons, they they sort of, their their mouths, they each have several mouths. And their, their, their central mouth kind of unhinges 
and somehow the jaw stretches and they each come over one of the people and just start swallowing and this at, the, at this point people start screaming and running out so yes. as this is happening i i would like to um would this be a flashback i don't know i have a gadget for this okay. i want to take photos because tinkering um sounds like a flashback so maybe you have uh you, yeah, I think that a flashback to Tink... Well, let's see. Flashbacks are... Somebody help me out here. I mean, it would just be... They could do it, but it would cost them more stress, right? So instead of I a one-stress flashback, it would be like a two-stress... So, uh, the way I'm seeing it, the deciding point here is whether or not this item she wants is a long-term project-worthy item, or just something that a leech could just whip up for a score. Fair. And I mean, it's just making it a rickety and a one-off and not like a camera that they have forever now, but instead yeah. like a large silver flash and one pane of glass. And then everybody knows that you just took a picture of those demons. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. a flashback to have a tinker. So what we'll say is this. you, you What's in your load? What do you have available that's special to a leak? I'm looking at you here. Okay. You've got fine tinkering tools, fine, a gadget. You have a gadget. Yes, I do have a gadget. So you don't have to do a flashback. This okay. is your gadget. Sweet. And my gadget is a photography thing. But I, as noted, I, it is going to, people are going to notice it. Yeah. So when I do this, I would like to be back towards like the far wall away from these guys while still trying to get photo of. Okay. Target. So I think this is a role to do that. Okay. What kind of action are you thinking? So while people are getting eaten, I'm just kind of slowly moving back, or rather, I guess that's before. That and I sounds I'm like a finesse, but position to where I can get them in the shot, but also our target. Yeah, I think that sounds like a finesse to me, but it's your choice. Like. That's just my suggestion to you from looking at what you were describing. I mean, or like a survey. Sounds good to me. Find the a survey could location to take the picture. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pin yeah, exactly. They both could work. It's a question yeah. of what kind of result you're going for. Better for the shot or better not to be noticed. <sighs> the extra coin from the evidence, do Extra it. coin, sorry. So <laughs> we here for the money. Help. Yeah. So, okay, so uh, that's, can that's, can no. Ahead. I, I, I would like to assist, so since you're doing like the version where you're not as being as careful for yourself, I, my assist would just be taking out my demon bane charm and putting it on you okay. <laughs> to help you not get eaten. So it sounds like you're doing a survey with one extra die, which is good because you have zero dice dies mm -hmm. of survey. So I'll give you a, a devil's bargain, which is that... You can take an extra die, but the flash is going to... No, the picture is going to get one of your friends in it. Ooh, I like that. That's, a, oh, hand, oh, I that's see. really good. I Does any, is I anyone else opposed since it's your character going to be in the shot? I'm okay with it. I'm fine. Same. I am okay with it. I think it's probably I'm Barrel ready, because it's, I think I Barrel's like... the one that's up front. Yeah, it's also easily the largest, and narratively, I think it's super interesting for him to be in the photo. Okay, so take an extra die for that. Okay, we're doing it. Kyle, that was good. He's not moving because he's in. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be, this is gonna be risky standard. Also, does the demon charm impact the effect at all? That was like how I flavored my assist. Oh, okay, the right, demon bane yeah. charm is now on her as a side effect. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. That was less than ideal. Wow. Well. So, you may have just gotten barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. I I think that in the moment it's hard to say what the picture it's not like a it's like a Polaroid kind of in the sense that it's gonna take a moment to see what you got right 
Um, however, the the complication I think is going to be that you have definitely attracted some supernatural attention here. And they are now climbing through the crowd to get to you. Yes, sis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, what do you do? Any of any of the five of you, certainly. Right. Uh, I am still entranced, correct? Uh, yeah. I, I, well, you're entranced, like. Yes, but I think that's going to be. I think we're going to start a clock for you that, now that I'm kind of thinking okay. about it. And I think that, I'm fine that anyway. clock is going to be that. Beryl, I will give it. I will think about this more now. Let's say Beryl's in, in trance. Beryl's trance is what I'm going to call it for now. And that's we'll give it a better name later. That's my band name, actually. Um, dun, dun, dun. So, Rhodes, there are three demons just barreling to the crowd towards you. They have eyes. What? Do they have eyes? They have eyes. So many eyes. Good. I'm Too throwing some eye blind poison at them. <laughs> All three of them? As many as I can hit with whatever I throw. Alright, so uh, what kind of roll is that? I'll hit sand. I don't know, actually. Is that... Uh, it's a skirmish, right. right? That might just be skirmish. It's, it's, it's what I was thinking, but I'm... I will definitely I mean, help. you could roll prowl if it's like a... Since it's an ambush? I don't know. I'll I mean... definitely need help. Um, I am not a fighty character. <laughs> honestly, uh, I'm not convinced that fighting demons is a right. good choice. Oh, I mean, it sounds kind of desperate to me. What? Right. Wythe is not into fighting the demons. <laughs> I say fighting in that these are two, the two suggestions were very fighty suggestions for the role. I just want to make an opening to get away. Or you could just try to get away. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I feel like that would definitely be finesse. And you I know mean, what? I'm it's terrible. A crowded, it's a crowded space. Yeah. Um, it's also, it's also, it could be prowl. True. Traverse skillfully and quietly. Illustrious dungeon manager. I'm not worried manager. about quiet. I'm just worried about getting around people if I'm running. What was the question, Nat? Uh, illustrious dragon manager, might I be able to use my fine spirit mask to try to find a um, positionally atypical method out of here? Position. So, a, a spirit mask. What does a spirit mask do? I don't Let's know. Let's me actually. see auras and magic, and I'm particularly wondering if I might be able to find something along the lines of a ghost door to open. Okay. okay. I think this is worth doing i think this is a desperate situation sure Definitely. i think it's standard effect i also think that you could take a devil's body to you. okay is this this is this am i attuning or am i surveying those i guess that's my call yeah i i mean my my suggestion to you as a just another player right is that tuesday it's, it, sure <laughs> is that it sounds to me like a tune let's sounds say good to me. a tune and I help you by finding the space yeah. with my ghost eyes uh, okay ooh that makes sense so here's the devil's the devil's bargain is that you can I get chomped. take an extra die no 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 but echoes echoes is going to get fixed on the clock ooh do I know approximately how many ticks? Um, like a million ticks? We'll make a fortune roll to decide. Oh, I like. Okay. Um, I'm I'm in for that now. Uh, my fine spirit mask has a ups my quality. Does that help my effect in this scenario? Yes. I okay. think that's how that works. I could be well, wrong. We're if... gonna say yes for now. Okay. But I believe that's what the fine means. Is that well. It... Fine means it's one usually means it's one tier higher than mine. So then, if it's higher than the thing I'm working against, then it would give me greater effect. As I believe how that works. Yeah, because I, I think any spirit mask would do this, would help you do this. 
I think the fact that it's fine, um, it gives you an effective a right. plus one bonus in quality. Let's just say that because it's fine, let's go ahead and up it to great effect. All right, that so you can get all yeah. your friends in it. So the idea will be the success is you get all your friends in. The devil's bargain, if you take it, is we, we do a fortune roll to yes. the clock. Okay. Um, and then uh, anyone, and you have an assist that sounded like from eyes. Is that right? Yeah. So, so what I'm getting here is desperate, great effect, two bonus dice. Yeah, don't forget to mark HP because it is desperate. Thank you. Is there, so are we, once you do this, are we out of this area? Is this what's so happening? I was, am I finding and opening the door and then we all got to barrel through it? Yeah, you all need to jump, you all need to barrel through it. Hey oh, because I mean. I mean, let's also see if you get a critical that might get everybody right. in automatically. Well, White, well, so. White won't leave without the target. If like that's said, our, we don't get paid. That's our job. It's hard to blackmail a corpse, as discussed earlier. Right, and so like. And they're gonna know that you got them out. No, they know that we saved them, not that right. we blackmailed them. That we bla not that we gave them the information, but we saved their life, and therefore perhaps they'd be more willing to. I don't know. Write down what happened to. Maybe we call some random other stranger too. Yeah, you grab a couple people. One of them, the important person. Yep. Some weights there. Okay, yeah. let's see what happens. Good. Rolling. Okay. So that's, that's a, a that's four. That's not as bad as the numbers make it look. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm telling myself that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That's also understandable. Um, there's a consequence. You suffer severe harm. A serious complication occurs. You have re Okay. No, this is easy. Dem Demon me. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, before I'm going to take a hold there real quick because I just want to do that fortune roll for Echoes, Echoes. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to call that, uh, no, just one die. One die is fine. Cool. And six. Oh, you're doing, oh, okay. No, no, I'm just, oh, I was five. calling it. So, no, five, that is uh, two ticks on the clock. Okay. So oh, that's how many, how many sections was that clock? It's a six. That's a six clock. You can see it on the okay. map. Yeah, I, the way I have my windows configured, it'd be kind of annoying to go Fair. and find no it worries. right now. So it's it's you now have three ticks on a six clock. For echoes, Thank you. Echoes. Um, all right. So here's the thing. There's a consequence. You can get everyone close by, but one of those demons sees you and is going to, and I want to tell you that what the demon does is chomp on you, and you're going to take level two harm as they are just crushing your arm with the, between their many jaws. I, I'll resist that with prowess, I'm guessing, uh, by just the part that they chomp on just liquefies and flows right out of its mouth. Mm. Okay, so I think we can we'll reduce that to a level one harm. Okay. Because they're That's supernatural, the... it's not just a physical effect. Sure, that makes sense. So well, if would you, you if you put armor on, does that would that be the same or is it not as effective as turning into water? I would say that if you have arm that we that if you have armor I mean I mean I could armor. It, it's a little antithetical to the concept though, like the Oh no, I know. I was just, I was just wondering because. Unless yeah. you say that the armor is that you do that thing. I mean, that's fair. That's a form I, of armor. So, so weird. Sure. <laughs> it's just a but really you know weird armor. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that. Uh, either way, you can, so yeah, if you want to expend an armor, you can take it down to zero harm. So armor is more effective than the resistance roll in this case. I, no, 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 no. The armor stacks with it's the, the, the arm, exactly. It's, it's uh, at okay. level two harm. Resist takes it to one. Armor takes it to zero if you've got armor to spend. 
I do, but it'd be the last of my non-rigging weight. Well, um, it's your choice you gotta make. Yeah, alright, so we're, by do clicking on we're doing this kind of gritty then, because resistance rolls only dropping one level is kind of the high setting. Um, alright, let's, let's do that. I'll resist and armor, because... Okay. Uh, right, you'll so you'll take no harm, so let's see how much stress you take. Six minus right. your prowess roll. Yes. Uh, I pressed resolve, but it's the same number. Don't worry about it. Okay. So it's going to be four, four stress. stress. Delightful. Okay. How much stress do you have? I now have seven out of oh. nine. Yep. All right. Yep. I was down to two before we started, but this is a hair so ring thing. So you got everybody there. And I think this is a group action to get through. Okay. So who's going to lead the group action? So all that that we're... means is the, well, here's how group actions work: is that everybody rolls, and the leader takes as much stress as the number of people who got a one to three result. Is that right? I'll do it. Yeah, that's right. It's, yeah, it's it. fail. Okay. Um, and then we use the highest result among the team. Is this like right. a tune to traverse the ghost field? And if we get multiple sixes, we will crit you because we're synchronized. Them because you have synchronized. Exactly. Yeah. So um, I would say, so y'all decide, are you attuning or are you just trying to act quickly? I'm and, just trying to act quickly because I... Well, I think the attune from the Spirit Master should already, from my per again, just as another player, you, you, all, you all decide yeah. in the group. Um, I think Spirit Master should have already covered the attune, and you're just going through. All right. All right. So, uh, question: Is this this in the for a group test? We all have to roll the same thing, right? Yeah. So yes. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, important um, question. Yeah, it makes an action roll using the same action, and the team counts the single best result as the overall effort for everyone who rolled. However, the character leading the ad group action takes one stress for each PC that rolled one to three as their best result. Uh, just to be clear, if we do any of these things, white is going to fail, and you're going to take stress based on. <laughs> I mean, it's That's fine. everything that you're talking about is me rolling two and picking the worst result. So you still got a twenty five percent chance of succeeding, even. Better. True. I also want to make sure that is are we taking the other people with us, like the person that we're watching, or is this you just can take? I would say that you can take your target person with you as part of this role. Jesse has a thing? Well, first of all, is Bart still trans? Second of all, can we grab random people? To grab random people, I think you would need to trade position for effect. So you would turn it from risky to desperate. Do we all get to mark XP or only the leader of a group action if we roll desperate? Oh, taking the action. No, I know. That's why I'm asking because I don't actually. Yeah, know. yeah. I'm I'm musing on the, I on the ruminating. I think that everyone should be able to take the XP. I'm Are you pretty... just taking random people with you? Well, we want at least one other person so that it's not suspicious we grabbed our target. Yeah, right. False positives. Okay. So you can do that, but it's going to be desperate. Yep. I'm into I mean, this. It's a pretty desperate thing we're doing. <laughs> Yeah. Our, um, by demons. So the options I'm looking at are. So I believe I am still trans. Yeah. So the options I'm looking at are prowl to like you know because that's like got the athletics area so which is just booking it, or a, maybe a tune but that's kind of lower. Or does anyone else have another concept of a skill we could an action we could use? I mean, I personally would go for finesse because I, I'm imagining Rhodes just kind of trying to dodge people in this like. Yeah, and the only thing I can think of is like a survey where you're just like peeping the crowd and trying to find the best route around, but that's... Uh, uh, maybe I'm, I'm survey. misunderstanding the concept here. Are we... Is this getting into the ghost yeah, field? Have, I thought this was traversing the, the ghost field. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah it's, he's already attuned... Or she is already yeah. attuned to do this. This yeah. is taking advantage of that opening. Yeah. Oh, so this is getting in. We're not through already. That was the diff that was the condition right. I was experiencing. That's what you I had, thought. You were tuned to open it up. This is going through the Terran reality. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So everybody roll 
What's, what did you decide? Was that um, what action did you choose? Is someone gonna have to grab? Is somebody have to, gonna have I to have grab to, barrel? I, I volunteer to grab barrel, but okay. No, I we're, mean, counting I... Bar- we're counting. Oh, no, no, barrel. It, sorry, barrel's entrancement. The way that I think is less about that they're stunned in the moment and more an ongoing. They have a long term clock now about being entranced okay. by the demon. Okay. Okay. It's more of a weird fey like draw than it is like a stupor. Okay. That's, That's gonna be fun. Uncomfortable in the long term, but I'm pretty stoked about it right I'm, now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to picture like eyes is deceptively strong for his size, but not that strong. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, good. So I mean, he can you run for himself. <laughs> All yeah. right. So yeah, the, the, the desperate is that y'all can grab both your target, but um, talker and some other people, okay. and um, y'all just need to choose an action. Whatever it is, I'm pushing myself so that I don't have to roll two dice, take the lower. And all, yeah. in, 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 well, even then, as a group, you will all get the highest result among you. Right. It just right. affects... So as long as at least one person rolls a four or higher, you'll get through. Right. Hopefully at least one yeah. person rolls a six. If, um, And then, the, then there'll be extra stress for rogues. Yeah, that's the the thing that we're trying to mitigate here is the amount of stress that we hand to our you know friend Rhodes. Regardless of what happens, I either trauma out and that'll be fun, or we succeed and that'll also be fun. All right, I'm sitting in one stress, so I'll take the stress. You don't need it. <laughs> well, whoever leads the well, whoever, action, whoever leads the, the action stress. takes the stress. So who's anyway, so. y'all, you can all decide amongst yourselves. So Rhodes, what are you gonna roll so that we can all just roll it? Yeah, I was gonna roll finesse. Okay. Okay. Okay, That's makes sense. We're rolling finesse. Bad for me. Well, I mean, bad for Rhodes for everyone. Everybody roll finesse at desperate standard. And make sure you uh, mark that XP. Mark XP in the in that that prowess. Prowess. (laughs) And yeah. And we're getting. Are we getting extra dice? One. None. No. Okay. <laughs> I trauma out. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take one, two, three stress. Yep. Your highest roll is a five. Thanks, eyes. But it's yeah, a, thanks, eyes. But it's five on a desperate. So bad things can happen. Yeah, it's still. <laughs> so the serious complication. The serious complication we just with us, like only the, the oh, sorry, no, um, I think what is a good complication here? Hmm. Hmm. I think that enough people see you popping out, but you're gonna get extra heat from this. I will yeah. resist that if I can. You certainly can. You can resist it down to one heat and make a resist roll with uh, however you're resisting that. That's probably it's probably either insight or whatever that bottom one is. I can remember. Resolve. Name. Resolve. Yeah. Okay, I'll use resolve. Okay. Um, yeah, by sheer willpower, I shall, I shall make it so that nobody notices us. Check out my. You'll still, you'll still have one heat from it, but only one. Right. right. Yeah. I, I feel like this is. What oh, oh, oh! Nice. Look Get at it. You. All right, and that's two so stress. That's, right? that's, that's, so that's one oh, no, zero. Okay. Yeah. Zero stress. Um, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna add that heat now, just so I don't forget it. And um, all right. So you are through. Um, uh, the damp lady. Um, echo. <laughs> I just I had a brain fart. Perfect. I didn't think of it. I'm, I'm glad. I'm... Sorry. Echo, where did you take everybody out to? I wasn't under the impression I got to choose that. Like okay, I found so us a way be... into the. I found us a way right. into the ghost city. I'm. I'm not sure we found a way out yet. You find yourself. So I don't think it's a ghost city. I think it's like a portal. Well, like, the description of oh. the ghost key is that there's an echo of the entire city across the ages trapped in the ghost field. Sometimes a door to that place can be found. 
Oh, okay. So this is. Please tell me that this actually like demons can't just see us here in this well, building in the ghost land. Well, demons have no spirit. That's like their right. thing in lore. So right. they probably right. can't ghost field. So I'm gonna say that no, you're out. Okay, you're out there. You're kind of in the ethereal plane for us D&D players. Yeah, a little bit. Um, except that there are ghosts everywhere around you now. So they Gotta are find another door. Whirling, and you need to just kind of get out of the place, past your everybody, and just get into a safer location. How do you do that? Run? Yeah, so all of you, it's like this bluish, blackish world. Color has leached out of the world. You are in you are in the ghost field now for a few moments. You've got just a few moments before reality is going to pop you back into it. Um, okay. What do you do? Look um, for an alleyway. Can and I try to... You're still in the room. You're just in yeah. like another dimension of it, as it were. Uh, can I try to, like, body, so to speak, the spirits? Kind of, like, try to attune with them so that my friends can run free? So you're trying to kind of um, talk with them? Or just fight um, them? Or what is it you're trying to do no, with them? No, I'm trying to... So spirits, you know, get drawn to us because we're different and interesting. My concept is to literally attune with them, like the spell says, you know, you know, interface with them to just distract them for a moment. So that all of my other crew members can scamper away. Because you said they were. Ability, the, by the way. Oh, uh, I turn into water. Remember that? Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Is now, please let me know. Um, a spirit anchor would that lock us in place here? Like Ooh. instead of. You tell like, me. I don't know. What is your spirit anchor? It's just I have arcane implements um, as one of my items. Um, I don't know what a spirit anchor does, but for me, does I would like get to, one. Right. What I'd like to be able to do is flashback to me collecting enough spirit anchors for everyone in the party because I'm hanging out with two whispers and I don't know how long we're gonna be like. I'm like, wait, are, are they gonna send us into the ghost field or is the ghost field gonna come here? I don't want to go there. Um, I want to have my spirit anchored here, but because this is the way that we escaped, instead we anchor our spirits here until we can get out, right? Like find another place that's not so occupied with demons and hang out in the ghost field. So what do we think a spirit anchor is, I guess is the question. Yeah. And I mean, that's, what... yeah. Like what physical item or like what does it, well, it do? What does for, it Right. So it says it's in the form of a small stone. Right. Okay. So it's like some sort of magical implement. Right. I, my assumption was that it anchors your spirit in place wherever you are, so that it can't be moved. Um, but that could also mean that it only anchors it to like the physical plane, so you can't like a ghost can't enter you and like kick your spirit out into the ghost plane. So I was um, thinking, or. If you die, like your spirit doesn't fly. So you y'all oh, okay. y'all decide. Right. Y'all decide. I guess let's just figure out what a spirit anchor does, and that's what it does for our instance of Ghost Wall. I think it does exactly that, where it anchors it anchors the spirit to whatever realm that stone is placed in. So it's like holding this these these ghosts that are around you. It's gonna hold them in one place. Is that the thing? Or it's gonna oh, oh, it's good. spirit anchor them. <laughs> Right, okay, yeah. It was either that or it's going to spirit anchor us so we don't get popped back into the physical plane where the demons are. We hang out because our spirits are anchored. Oh, I see. You have a little bit, so what you're saying is you use it to have a little bit more time in the ghost field. Right, exactly. That was my okay. idea. Okay, I like yeah, that. If you want to do that, that's good too. Okay, so I will take one or two stress for the flashback uh, of making sure. That's a I, big yeah. thing. I'm going to say that's two stress. Yeah, that's, I assume. I guess three is the maximum for that, but yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure, but is I... It, yeah. That's anyway, that he's just not sure. acceptable. Right. So why if like we all jump into this like rip in the, our plane and we end up in like Ghostland, and Wythe <laughs> looks around and like reaches into their heavy like waxed overcoat and like takes out what looks like a bag of marbles and like takes 
a single one out and just like flicks them to everybody and like slaps it into the pocket of the two or however many people we like saved. <laughs> and they were like, keep these on you at all times. It'll give us a little bit longer to escape those fiends. And that is. Okay. On the note of escaping fiends, as we try and displace ourselves, uh, cutters have access to a spirit bane charm. So I would like to sort of vanguard the group and just sort of be the prow of a ship breaking through the ice that is all of these spooky ghosts. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that's good. So I think that. So to, for, so you could probably use. So what do you. But that's probably an action, right? And um, you can use that to do an action. Maybe you are. You're probably not skirmishing. What do you think? Could that be that commanding. Is? That could be command. Okay. Command, I can dig. All right. So I think that's going to be. Is it fine? It is not. It is okay. just your okay. advantage. Yeah, it's so the it's normal one standard. that most people get. Okay. So if it was fine, I was going to say risky. Great. Yeah, I'll say risky standard. Um, devil's bargain. Take an extra die, but one of the ghosts will follow you out. Also, I uh, would like to use foresight to make sure that. <laughs> that Beryl has like a nice spirit bane charm. He's like, check out my spirit bane charm. And it's just like, whatever. And and White's like, no, 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 use this. And hands him like, you know, it, it, it does exactly the same thing. Right. It does exactly the same thing, but you feel like this is a higher quality. Yeah. Like not necessarily is. Okay. So I like that. Your, bane so charm. Control. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that, uh, I will take that devil's bargain because I have several friends that are good at ghosts. I don't get them, but like, it'll be fine. So you're in love with demons and a ghost stalks you. This is I awesome. I am entranced by okay, demons. So the, de the ghost that's, I'm just going to tell you that the ghost that follows out is going to be the form of picking one of the other clocks, one of the existing ghost clocks that we have. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see, who in our party has something to do with ghosts? The main one. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Take as, that as a crew, you're all taking it. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. If that is okay with eyes. You good, eyes? Yep, it's happening. Okay, so <laughs> take an extra die. Yep. And the extra from wife help. Uh-huh. Wife, wives, whatever you want to call this person is fine with me. Based on, was, based on this character looking like John Turturro, I'm not so sure that wife is the right... But, you know, whatever. I mean... It's risky standard? Yeah, I think, yeah, risky standard. Oh, thank Six. good. Uh, okay. Uh, just for everybody at home, that's two ones and one six. So, you know, it's a little bit close. That's the biggest one's the only one that matters. <laughs> right, exactly. So, you are kind of ice breaking your way through all these things. Yeah, you're basically, you're playing fullback for everybody else and just yeah setting up the blocking attack lane. And as you push your way through, you find yourself outside you're, this is an underground street. Oops. This is an underground street. So you look up, and again, everything is kind of washed out because you're still in the spirit realm um, for a few more moments anyway. But you're underneath kind of this arched street, as like a, like a tunnel sort of. Um, but it's like cobblestones along the walls and ceilings and and the actual street floor itself. Um, but all the pandemonium inside you have left behind. What do you do? So because I have traumaed out, as soon as we are out, you literally watch Rhodes just kind of like, like you can literally watch in his eyes as he like shuts down about faces and just picks a direction and goes. Okay. He Relatable. Party. Char and Rhodes, <laughs> a very fantastic team. Is this where, uh, 
Um, Echo, are you gonna let everybody out of the? Yeah, I was. Okay. Gonna think like, okay, everybody, uh, and I kind of hold out my spirit echo and just drop them. All right. I am going to run after Rhodes and snag that freaking camera panel. Oh. I mean, it's gonna be like this weird kind of brief, like, you know, struggle, but you will get it. I'm going to like Uh, kind of whisper, "I'm sorry, I'm so sorry," and just kind of like, what? Can shove ya. Because yeah. I'm like two of you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> While this is happening, Wythe is really trying to get everybody who was in that group to like sign their name to a document that says <laughs> what they've experienced as sort of like witnessing. Um, because they have, they have a fine cover identity. And so what they're going to do is hold that up and say that they're um, a, a spirit. What is it? Spirit warden? Okay spirit warden and say like yo this was messed up i need you to um witness what has happened so i'm gonna so your cover identity do you have one of the spirit warden's masks oh that's right they wear those masks don't they um no i mean okay so so you can do it i think it's just gonna have limited effect i don't know i forgot that they had that mask um that being said if he's giving a limited effect you could push yourself for standard effect sure I'm also trying some not to trauma have, out here. Some of you have a spirit mask. I was going to say, I, why is, I have one. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it cool. to you. Yeah, so with the, yeah. Okay, so that'll give you a standard effect. All right, um, so I'm going to tip that on. Yeah, so I'm going to call this still, re- I mean, you know what? Actually, I'm going to call this controlled standard. Okay. Assuming, well, assuming that you're doing something just talking to them. I'm consorting. If else is helping, I would like to add physical authority by standing behind Wythe with a confident look on my face, mildly aggressive. So if you're going to consort? Yeah. Mm. My background is like inspector, so my authority is like actually around that level. Would that be more of a command? That sounds more like what you're describing is command. Consort is socialization with friends and contacts. Okay, I just... Mm -hmm. I will use consort because I am not trying to command them. I'm trying to, like, empathize with them, and we can just have the effect be less, I guess. Yes, yes, for lesser effect. Right, right. Okay. So that's a limited effect. It would have been zero if you had just consorted without the mask, so the mask gets you up to limited. Right. Jesse, what'd you say? I mean... Uh, when you sway someone, you're influencing them with guile and charm. You could be. I mean, I I legitimately only have consort as like a useful resolve skill. Oh. So I'll also give you. So if you bargain, have the so I, bargain is you get an extra die, but later on they're gonna go look up to, and find out that you weren't later. Okay. Uh, so if somebody and this is just my idea, but if somebody has dots and sway or command and would rather do this instead of me i am more than willing to just help you do it right well, i have dots in is, both of those but here's the okay. thing is you're the one with the cover identity right true okay yeah. i was I just mean, gonna I use think, the cover I identity think... to help them right you can just sort of be behind me as my yeah. supervising officer yeah. as it were because I'm, yeah, because the only thing I'm good at is consorting with people, so. I mean, I think consort fits here. You know, like you just went through an experience, you know, it bonds right. people, and then you're, like, trying to be buddy with them. I don't right. think consort requires you to already know somebody to be, have a friendly social interaction with them. I mean, I agree with that, but the way Charm- that Yeah, you're being a charming, open, socially adroit. So you're being friendly with them about right. it. I just um, want documentation <laughs> that these okay. people. Yeah, 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 this makes sense. So. Standard so again, Limited. The, the devil's bargain is you're going to take extra heat because they're going to find out later you weren't. I mean, no. I'm okay with them not knowing that I... Um, it's just the, me. I, <laughs> yeah, wink, wink. People I'm find out. Open. No, I'm good. Okay. All right, and I'm going to push myself. Um, and then I get one die from the help. And this is going up. So it's is it still risky or controlled? Um, I think at this point it's risky. A risky okay. standard. 
All right. I think we got it up to standard. Okay. And the spirit mask doesn't help with bonus die, just with the effect, correct? It's just what you do it. Right. Okay. Cool. Or I'd rather it gets you. Okay, five. Five. So five on a. Oh, actually, uh, this is missing one die, but that's all right. Five on a risky. Yeah. Okay. Five. Okay. Um, good call. Uh, you do it, but there's a consequence. You suffer harm, a complication occurs, you have reduced effect, you end up in a desperate position. I think that the the complication is that you're going to end up getting that heat after all. Okay. S sounds great. <laughs> okay. I, I find myself doing that pretty often, DMing, offer them Devil's Burger, and they don't take it. Then the complication comes up, and I'm like, well, I already thought of this thing. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, that's it's a really good idea. I just... White is not there to be like, yes, I will. Well, I want people to know who I am. I'm a spider. Right. Know my name, everyone. Please understand who I am. So when you get back, as we previously determined out of character, the photographic plate just shows Beryl and a few other random people. Is there even a demon? Yeah, but there's no proof. Well, this isn't the proof that he's there. However, the the statements prove that, the, again, it's the same thing. It proves that something happened, but nobody's listing young Master Penderin there. So you're, you are going to get the six coin, but I think that what you have is information that will help you in the future because now you have some documentation about people who were there, and that something happened at this club. Like, so he didn't. He specifically did not sign this, is what you're saying. Oh yeah, he wouldn't. Yes. He was no way he would have signed it. The other people signed it, but something happened there. Uh, I mean, the only reason that I did that was for him to have his name on there too. But that's fine. Uh, we yeah, can. Yeah, I, th I, th I think that what you have now is what I'll say is th here's what we'll do. I don't know what we'll do. What we'll do is you'll get an extra rep for having that. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think rep, that rep is good. I think that's fair, especially because y'all need it right now. <laughs> well, um, if we weren't weak, it would be fine. So All let's right. go to payoff and whatnot. Also, in case it wasn't obvious uh, for everyone else, that panel that mostly just shows me in this club, I'm gonna smash to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When yeah, when they don't take the documents, uh, wife is upset but keeps them and does not burn them in front of them in some sort of like Absolutely. anger. Absolutely. <laughs> Barrel smashes it and he's just like, I'm lighting this shit on fire. Fuck you guys. Rah! No, that is not what I mean. Um, so, let's see. I'm um, going to take... I'm going to mark an extra four rep for you. So that's two rep by default plus one rep because the target of the score was a peer one and an extra rep for this um, extra information that you did pull. That's going to be six coin for you to split up amongst yourselves as you desire. One each, um, one into oh, the I coffers. Turn off one of the. How yeah. much? How much can a kind of vault or a crew thing can hold? Um, four? four right now, right? I believe so. Yeah, and there's one in there already. So. Yeah, I mean that seems reasonable. Yep. yep. Give roads theirs when okay. we see them next. Yeah, I'll just hang on to that then. If uh... <laughs> I'll just... put it in the vault for now. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Ugh. Okay, so you divvied up your coin, right? Yeah. I feel like Avmalia just slinks into the canal we came out of and says, "I'll find," and just goes to indulge her vice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's um, pretty... So you're going to take two heat in addition to the two that you already got for your complications. So it's just two heat. Um, and so four heat total or two total? We're at four, four now, total. right? You're at four, four now. Right. So because you're at four heat, I'm going to do the uh, entanglement roll. Um... 
that's going to be just that's just one die. It doesn't matter. Um. Okay. So you have. You're going to have either gang trouble or question. Um, Considering everything that happened, I feel like questioning makes sense. Yeah, and you don't have a cohort or a, or a gang. You don't have a gang. To... Yeah, we could literally be questioned by the spirit wardens. <laughs> no, the qu questioning, the blue coats grab an NPC member of your crew or one of the crew's contacts, question them about your crimes. I mean... So, so I think they're going to question Quellen. Because Quellen okay. was caught up in this earlier, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, like that. we're going to make... We're either going to make a fortune roll to see how much they talk, or you can put, pay them off with two coin. Whoa. Up to you. you want to pay off the blue coats or take the heat? We do have two coin. And by the way, the maximum heat from this is two heat. So, just so you know. I'm... I... Well, I'm trying to be good. You want heat or you want money? Uh, oh, I love this. I I'm, love the... Got the coins. I'm gonna give a coin... So you so y'all are gonna spend two coins to pay off the blue coat to keep your heat down. I feel like we don't have a choice. I feel like eyes takes it <laughs> and is like, "Yo, I took it. Bye." Yeah, that, that People, well, I only see one coin in the crew sheet. Didn't we just get six? So that's one for everyone plus the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, you're good. All right, I We're calculating here. I'll put another one in there. And technically, no, I took it. I just took it out. It's fine. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, Quellen, as soon, as soon as you find out that they have your friend in, uh, oh, look, there's a tail of a black cat, it's perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, black, oh, so good. Um, I think as soon as you find out they have Quellen, you run down there and you bribe one of the blue coats to not give her too much trouble since she's your special friend. Yes, and I'll take one coin from mine. Can I put it into the crew? Yeah, if you want to. I'll put it there. Yeah. I got it. Aww. Okay, so... My B. Um, Downtime activities. You each get two downtime activities. Hey, Did I'm we gonna... need to do this next time? Because it's late. It's up to y'all. Do y'all want to run through this quickly and knock it out of the way? I'm asking only because I'm not sure if people can go any later than it's right now. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, I think. I am exactly. I'm good. I'm fine. Else. Okay. Yeah. I just so wanted to make sure that it was okay with everybody. You got five downtime activities: acquire asset, long-term project, recover. I'm oh, sorry. You have six: reduce heat, train, or indulge vice. I indulge vice at least once. I also indulge vice at least once. Same. Um, everybody nah. knows how that works. Mm. Yep. Yep. Okay, so what you're going to do is on your sheet, there, uh, um, eyes, there's yes. a button that says indulge vice, kind of just above the traumas. I see it. I lied. I'm getting indulge vice. I was looking for that earlier, so I, I got frustrated and I just rolled a die. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Wait, do I put in any bonus dice? Nope. Okay. Or... Yep, so you're gonna, so as long as it's good, you've got, neither of you, none of you have overindulged, at least of the three, I see grind, eyes, wow. and barrel. Barrel, right on the nose. Woo! I'm sweating, I was sweating about that. <laughs> Anybody else doing any, uh, oh, we should also run through XP, this is what I forgot last week. Let's do crew XP oh, yeah. first. Okay. Um, Let's do it. First of <laughs> all, 
Did you ex execute a successful espionage, sabotage, or theft operation? Yes, yes, you did. What is 2DF? Oh, those are fudge dice, like fate dice. Huh. Okay. I don't know what you what. Also, you fa you failed. Uh, no, those. There's nothing. Um, your for your uh, remind me for your favored. This is a favorite operation. Yeah, this was espionage. On, mm -hmm. and, and it was on your, and even more specifically, it was on your, on your home turf. Oh, we forgot to add a die to our engagement rule for that. Yep. Oops. Mm. It's not in the. It's not in the checklist. Uh, right. In the book. Yeah, you're it right. Looks, yeah, has gotten me a couple Perfect. times. Yeah, I yeah. need to pay more attention to that. Okay, so you're gonna get an XP for a successful espionage operation. Contend with challenges above your current station. I'm gonna say two. Demons. Wow. Because yeah. of the demons. There were demons, and not there's just one. There's three demons. Bolster your crew's rep or develop a new one. I think you get one Definitely for that. that. Yeah. Express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. I feel like we did that yeah. more than once. Yes. So yeah. you definitely did that at least once because you literally walked through the ghost field to get out. Mm -hmm. well, I also, honestly, earlier... beginning... Plus, we also had conflict between us earlier about what to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like that whole thing around the map and the that yeah. ghost and all that thing and came a, out within and that conflict of it. Of oh, so, you... and the professional too, just because we yeah. insisted on making sure that the person that they were trying to blackmail survived, so they could blackmail them. So you've got some. You've got a clue advancement here. Yep. <gasps> Ooh. That Yay. puts us at uh, so um open up that crew sheet. You can take a new special ability. I'm clearing the advancement now, but we know that you have it. Um or mark two crew upgrade boxes. Okay, so we could train, we could do like insight and resolve, so we could train all three if we pop, if we mark two boxes. Uh, if I can make a suggestion. Since we're running a little tight, do we want to do this in chat over the next week? The like discuss. Stuff, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that seems yeah. reasonable. Yeah, y'all right. figure out what you want to do. I just know that discussing that, there's so many uh, cool things. There are. Did we did we just hit the advance, or do we have any leftover? I wasn't looking at the numbers. No leftover. The two. Okay. Over. Yeah. Cool. It was exact. Um, I'll do the. I also do the faction stuff offline by myself. Um, Makes sense. The. Does anybody have any questions about? Oh, if you have long-term projects, let's roll. And if you want to work on your long-term project, I should say, and you want to roll, I that, mean, let's roll that now. I would like to. Yeah. Because I also have something see. for you, depending on what they are. Because I've right. been tracking those in a different way. What should I roll for it? Hmm. Well, you're trauma. Can you do anything yeah, like that? Out of that score. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it the score? Get, I thought it was. Down you clear time. all your. You clear all your stress. And you don't have to worry about your vice this time. Which trauma okay. did you take? I took unstable. Wow. Okay. Ooh. That's gonna be fun. And what Ooh. did uh, what did Char take? Char took cold. Interesting. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Obviously. How dare you? <laughs> I was wondering if. Yeah. Anyway, I'll talk about this later. Uh, there's a something I'd like to change about cold, but uh, yeah, we can talk about that one off the phone. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Well, there is a, right so um anybody who is doing a long-term project uh for the, what did you say what is your project my project is finding ways to gain favor with the circle oh of the yeah 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 that is my again it is your choice just my suggestion because we're all new that sounds like consort to me um at the time i was thinking of it it was the 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 Pouring through research yeah, and like do, find that's, that's certainly valid. You could definitely study. That. Like, I'm not the consorting type. I'm the here. Look what I found. Right. Type. <laughs> so yeah, roll a roll a a study action. There you go. That doesn't matter. No bonus dice. Five. So you're gonna hey. mark two ticks on your personal clock. Sweet. I met three. And, and I'm gonna train. I'm gonna tell you separately from that, 
that will have an opportunity, a, a score opportunity next week, somewhat related to it. Nice, nice. Cool. It's not, it's not the fulfillment of your clock, because that's mm -hmm. just that's a thing that I have in mind for you for that. But I think you're making progress on that, so probably people people see in the library and you're chatting with people as you're studying and whatever. It's Anybody else working on a long-term project? If, if I wanted to like oh sorry make fancy clothes for the group as a seamstress to help us get into fancy establishments could that be a thing that is crafting that is definitely a thing um you make Project? a tinker so here's what it is to craft something spend a downtime activity to make a tinker roll to determine the quality level of the item you produce the base quality level is your cruise tier, modified by the results of the roll. Um, and you can spend coin one for one to increase the final quality level result of your roll. So you're t tier zero. Um, so you, the base quality is going to be uh, tier, tier zero if you want to. But if you do well, you could get... Um, up to you with a critical you could get tier two and then you could uh, spend coin to get more okay so make a tinker roll no dots and tinkers be fine it just means it takes you a really long time to find nice <laughs> material to make this out of oh two so you get tier zero um, fancy clothes. So this is the equivalent of getting a suit at J.C. Penney's. Cool. Wow. We'll get better. Burn on <laughs> J.C. <laughs> May I start? I, I just got the side eye from Matt. I saw it, bro. Wait, what? No, I... What? <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking um, that tier zero fancy stuff is just what we would naturally be able to have right. automatically right. so we might want to drop a little rep or coin we can do rep two uh to improve the level of that if we had any coin left put one coin in oh yeah, i spent one of our own i'll drop a coin yeah sure okay so you'll have tier one was like fine clothing some of you yeah. already have it um, Make mine waterproof. <laughs> Specifically, not waterproof because we want I'm the creep factor. Be we want that creep factor high. We don't want you to look normal. We want you to drip on people so we get free. <laughs> I'll still, I'll still drip on people. Okay, all right. Um, uh, so anyone else? Uh, Good. No, no, Nat, you. So I, I remembered I wanted to do a long-term project to try to track, keep tabs on that uh, hunting chart book. Oh, yes. Yes, that is a good clock. Uh, given that this is like an item of arcane potency, might I be able to use a tune to work on that? Sure. Cool. Eight million and sections. I'm going to call this... It's Spies. relatively straightforward. I'm going to call this a four clock. Okay. That means uh -huh. if I crit, it's done right now. Correct. That's exactly why I did that. Alright. Uh... Ba-do-ba-do. I, I didn't, but I did good. That's okay. Okay, so you got two ticks. So you're halfway through it. Yeah. So I can finish that next time. So is Char able to do stuff? Now I have two characters, and yes. one of them's not trauma, but I'm confused as to what... <laughs> okay. Anyway, I, think, I, I think will... they all get down top. The way that I want to run this... Let me rephrase this. Okay. Sure. Is that... Let's say... that So everybody gets their downtime now, right? Mm -hmm. Every character who was here some level, right? In, let's say, just hypothetically speaking, let's say that next week, let's say that that can't come. That's actually accurate. I was going to say I can't make it next week. Okay. Is that, this is a good, then I'm glad I'm using this. <laughs> You'll still get the downtime next time. You won't get the other whatever, right? right? A part of this whole thing. But the de but time is still going by. So the You'll still get the downtime. And that's also so that People can like drop in and out and not fall too far, but like you could still choose to work on your long term project or train or whatever. 
Okay. So, sh if I wanted to do a secondary character, should I bring them in now so they can start acc accruing downtime actions? I mean... Or do they get to catch up? You just... <laughs> I have 15 characters in this, this game. Way. Let's put it this way. Uh, Gotta drop out for... Barrel didn't get downtime from last week. Because he hadn't brought him in yet. So... I think it would be well, fair... I'm hearing to yes. To, I'm, I'm, no. I'm saying, I think it would be fair to wait until you bring the character in. Okay, I have eight characters that all want to grow Deathland yeah. plants. Uh, See, I'm, point, I'm pointing out the flaws in the system here. I, I was working on it as the idea that, you know, right. we're all kind of working together on this collaboratively. I, know. I just, I would not do that. I was just kidding. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I know that that wouldn't be this. Well, it's worth keeping in mind what the kind of activity it incentivizes, though, when you're designing a subsystem. Right, right. And that's, that's why I'm not, this is not like a forever rule for all campaigns, I think for this group, yeah. I think it makes sense. Because sure. as time goes on, like, you know, somebody goes away for a month or whatever, and somebody else, or just has to drop out because life happens, um, you know, then we might add somebody in or whatever, you know, and this is the kind of game where it'll work out. More a variant rule option than anything. Yeah. Um, anybody, oh, don't forget to do your own XP. Super yes. important. That's what I was gonna ask, is does Char get XP or no? He didn't participate in the score. Right. Yeah, no, I know. I just wanted well, to make sure. To be fair, you do calculate the XP by session, not by score. Like if you don't right. finish yeah, the score, true. you can me, still check for your XP. I'm also curious about something on let me look at the character sheet. So do we wanna go around? Yeah, I think I, so I think you triggers. do. So, does anybody have any... So, you get to decide for yourselves, right? It's on the honor system. Um, if anybody's, though, like, uh, I'm not sure, what do you think? This is the time to bring that up. May I start a second downtime clock? Did you... How many downtime actions did you take? Only one so far. Then, yeah. Okay, I would like to start developing... A new, uh, new uh, alchemical, specifically for the uh, repulsion of humans, because that's <laughs> uh, such big time. Yeah, so... demon vein charm only does so much. I want to say, looking at the rules, it's equivalent of costing them like two stress, right? To go buy it. There are. So I'm looking I, here. I want something that will repel them for good, like yeah, tool use. Yeah. So you're trying to invent a new drug. <laughs> no, I mean in the yeah, that's so pretty smart, much. So no, I'm just looking, at, or it could be an oil or a poison, or an oil or or poison. Oh, uh, is this going to be one of those things where we just like make everybody that we talk to drink this thing? But look, you got to drink this first. No, it, our gag. Like, uh, I want to slather this on a place and be like, I'm safe. I'm safe. <laughs> Can't cross here. I'm safe. Okay. So, yeah. um. So you're so you're trying to create some sort of alchemical creation that you would slather on an object or a person. Yeah, that that would repulse like they they wouldn't want to touch it, make it completely gross to them. Okay. Um, let's see. Now we need to set the minimum quality level of the item. The magnitude of the effects it produces. It's just, if this person, let's say, drinks it, then it keeps pushes ghosts away. Was it ghosts or demons? Demons. demons. I demons. would prefer they not drink it. It's probably pretty foul. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> it depends weird. on what you, how you make it. I mean, you can make a it's, potion, right? Um, no, it's like the arcade. onions and holes. Mmm. So, yeah, so you basically, you're thinking of it as if you, you wipe this on yourself, and demons are repelled. It's like off. It's like it's like repelling. It, it's like better version of off. Okay. Or if you put it on the ground, they can't step over it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Time to reach into my supernatural the TV show lore knowledge and be like, all right, we got to get some salt circles going on, and then hold on, that's. Okay. I I'll say that the minimum quality level is one. So let me ask you this. What rare, strange, or adverse aspect of this formula has kept it in obscurity out of common usage? Probably that it is 
highly toxic to ingest. So, like, you need to make sure you wash it off good. Deathland plants. Yeah. Is that what you said? Deathland plants? Because that's what I heard. I heard Deathland. I heard Deathland, Deathland plants too, plant. actually. Yeah, weird. It's so weird. So Our energy. That's so perfect it's because less then. Than... That's perfect because then the drawbacks of it are going to be that it is rare and volatile in the sense as as you said if you drink it it's bad for you yeah um so you probably also don't want to like get it in your eyes and and so mm -hmm. forth any mucous membranes do not right, touch. exactly i i now i want char to drink it and see what it have, you have what happens alchemist artificer or strange method special ability um no i am a physicer okay <laughs> so um yeah first you have to study it but you'll want to get that ability later on mm. to like finally invent it so this yes. is going to be an eight segment progress block and you need to roll and if we're inventing in particular it's study all right we do oh problem. wait no, no, you have to have the alchemist ability to do that. Oh, shoot. Dang. Never mind. Um, maybe a physicer lets you tinker with, like, the humors of the body. Maybe if you derive it from a, a person, it works? I don't know. I, oh, so here's what, well, here's what I'll do. Okay. I'll say that first you need to figure out what humors and bodies. So we'll do a project to be able to invent it. Okay. So what you're so saying is... This, a... It's a linked clock. You've got to fill this first clock to do the second inventing clock. Yeah. Okay, so let's, but this will be an eight segment clock as well. So when Rhodes wants to hunt the demon that we have to experiment on, let me know because that's, I'm into it. We'll go to the Deathlands, find a demon, <laughs> put it on a table, you can extract all the humors from it. Sounds good. Oh, I've got it. Oh, oh I definitely, I have- a, Sounds like a, something an unstable person would do. Lesson learned from this week, I'm gonna propose a score in Discord and see what just what score you agree on before we start the session. You'll still have some free play time in advance. I don't want to take an hour and a half to choose the score either. Um, <laughs> but relate, I have an idea related to this stuff, so this it's, is good. It's hard to get over like sort of the D and D mentality of like having to plan everything out. It's really I've it's played D and D so long that I'm just kind of like we got to make sure we have the plan because if we don't have the plan, we're gonna f die. I don't know. Right. I actually didn't hate the amount of planning. I just feel like. It was the group trying to make a decision on what we actually did that I felt wasted the time, not the finding information. We didn't actually spend yeah, that much time fine. finding information. But, tomato, tomato. Right. So, um, tomato, so for the roll, roll a study. Okay. Five, so you're going to tick two ticks on your eight clock for this. Alright, I'm adding the new clock. Does anybody have any other questions about their own XP? Are you pretty comfortable with making your choices? I mean, I'm, as long as you're, I'm, like, Char's going to take two, and then wife is going to take, it's going to be, like, two as well, I think. It's whatever yeah. it says, so if you look, yeah, like, it has questions on you. Did you address a challenge with right. whatever is appropriate? Um, yep. No, I know, I just... I'm letting you know that Char is taking XP um, cool. for some of the actions. Makes sense. Um, I, as far as downtime actions, I'm just going to have, for the sake of time, Char is going to uh, train prowess, and then he's also going to roll on his clock, um, learn a method to grow death on the plants. So. Oh, that's right. Yep. And he's going to use... Uh, what did we decide that was? I think that was study. Was it study or was it study? I mean, I don't remember. It's your choice. I'm just going to do survey um, because I think I was specifically like going out and like staring at the ground and like trying to figure <laughs> out. Okay, so that's two ticks on that clock. Okay, I have okay. one tick left on that clock. Okay. And that's all for Char. Everybody else good? Yes. Um, I was wondering, do you remember how much rep it takes to increase your your hold? Is it the whole Yes, thing? I do. I, I can I can tell you exactly. So I'm gonna in fact, in fact I'm gonna show you how to get the answer. If you pull up your crew sheet, I'm, on, I'm there. 
Okay, there's a rep tracker. Well, here's how it works, is that normally... Oh yeah, thank you whoever clicked on we. Um, Hi. Normally, you have to fill that tracker all the way to the right. As you claim turf, then you can reduce the amount of rep required for the next up for the next uh, upgrade there, because you have a more solid base to work from. So right now you need three more turf. Oh, sorry, three more rep to increase the strong. So basically, your next score you should get it. Cool. Nice. All right. Suggestion for next score: we should try to claim uh, a claim. Yeah. Because that'd be cool. We haven't done it yet. I had to put that. Talk about that in the Discord. Yep, we'll definitely. Yeah, right. I need to look up something on that. We, we can definitely talk about it. I'm all about checking out that process. Um, all right. Any other questions for this session? Did I just want to. Yeah, I just want to do. Um, sorry, since I have two characters. <laughs> uh, White uh, wants to start a long term project. What's the project? It's. Now, I wanted to leave this up to the group. Which seems more interesting for this character? Um, to, f to go about trying to figure out who murdered his sister or to figure out if his sister is real or not. I feel like who murdered his sister and we can just sort of figure, figure out, out not as a clock right. uh, whether or not this character is, like, delusional. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought too, but I wanted to see if it would be more interesting to explore it the other way. I, because I, yeah. I'm just imagining the invisible sun answer of she isn't real and someone murdered her. Right. Exactly. I mean, also that's not. the thing. Yeah, that was kind of where I was going for that. Okay. So his sister was murdered. He wants to figure out who did it, and this is why he got kicked off of um, the in force, the inspector force. Da, 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 inspector force. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, let's uh, go around real quick and close things up. I know we're way over for folks. For me, it's totally fine. Um, we're gonna how go... many? Text? I mean, how many segments on that clock? Sorry. Oh, for, so what the clock was to figure out who murdered her? Yeah. yeah let's call that a. Let's call that an eight clock. Yep. Sounds good. Pretty normal. Yeah. Okay. Um, pretty normal to try and figure out who murdered your sibling. Absolutely. Right. You know, I've got to... No one would be curious about it. All right. Anything else before we wrap up? Are we good? Did I miss anybody good. else? Court, are you cool? No, I'm good. All right. Let's go around just a quick, 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 quick set of wrap-ups. Um, in reverse order, Jesse, just a little quick outro. I am Jesse. So, I'm oh, sorry. Two things. Two things. Well, three things yourself. B, anything you want people to know about, and C, what your favorite moment for tonight was. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Jesse. You can find me at Jehus the Moose on almost all sites ever. Um, things that are happening. Uh, I'm getting caught up on commissions, so hopefully I will open those up again soon. Um, and my favorite part of tonight was I think my favorite part was when Lull was on top of the couch. That was fun. Just a cat hanging around the way cats do. Cat. Giant, giant cat. It was good. Uh, Randlin, what about you? Hey everybody, I'm Ran, uh, shoves the book on Twitter. Um, I plugged some people earlier, so... Um, Randomly generated as a friend, many of us know, know, know her. Right. So, that's so Rose the... Uh, Rose, Rose Artemis. Artemis. Rose yeah. Artemis, yeah. Right, right. Okay. So, um, check those people out, but yeah, I just want to keep it. Thank you for watching, and thank you to our uh, Dragon Tamer, uh, and then also the other folks in this crew for putting up with not one, but two people's shenanigans from this end of the table, and I appreciate it. So have a good night. All right, thanks. Chase. I am Chase. You can find me at, at Fromonger on everything. I'll only ever respond on Twitter. Uh, I also write surrealist microfictions at is underscore microfictions. 
if you're interested in Invisible Sun, or just weird imagery and navel gazing. Uh, I don't really have anything else to plug. My favorite part of the night was the entire transition from Char to Y, including but not limited to the brief discussion of, what are we going to do with this cat? I I feel like it's just sort of a pet yes, no. at the at the compound. I think it's like the cruise pet now. Yeah, we've okay. just got a mascot now. Good. That's good. Uh, but yeah, just that whole experience was great. I think that the two characters was handled very smoothly and well. Uh, thanks everyone. Y'all are great. Forda. Uh, I'm Forda Bear on pretty much all the social medias except for like two, but I don't do anything with those right now. Um, ah, best part about tonight. <laughs> I really liked that entire, like, talking to the, 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 the sailor, the, the dead sailor, <laughs> just being like, oh yeah, no, this sucked. This was great, but this sucked. Let's not do this map quest. We're, we're not, wow, I actually thought it was going to make them more likely to take the job. So that was that was play to find out. Yeah. It was a temptation. Yeah. I was expect I was fully expecting it to be like, oh, our void sea navigator doesn't it says we can't do it. What the fuck why? That's what I was <laughs> expecting. But that was fun. We respect boundaries in this party. We party and we respect Stop boundaries. Stop it. Right. We are professional. Right. Um so speaking of which, uh Nat. Hi. I'm Nat. I'm the Tuesday DM. You can find me at CrimeNat on Twitter and on the Discord areas. Um, I don't have anything particular to plug, but you know, saved our RPGs are great. Love them. Be nice to each other. Uh, my favorite. Do you have a aspect, thing coming up with your with your magazine? Your. Uh, not really right now. Oh, all right, I'm sure. Wasn't sure. All right. Um, my favorite part, I think, was just Barrel in his entire or less use existence uh maybe particularly when we got the picture sheet and it was just like oh yeah it's just barrel <laughs> cool cool so i'm kyle you can find me online at techno skull um on the socials which mostly well on here obviously on uh youtube on twitter on reddit i have other places where i use it but it's not really about gaming so it, you wouldn't and i don't really post on instagram anymore anyway uh, plus, I have a blog at technoskull.me. Um, the other thing that I have is this Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm hoping to run Lasers and Feelings here from 7 to 9 Central. Um, super one-shot. It's going to be very silly, very uh, uh, just chill, sort of a Star Trek adventure. Written by the same guy who uh, did this game, but it fits on one sheet of paper. Um, so we'll see who can come and play. Everybody's invited. I'd like to get... Uh, Ford, are you still good? Yes, he wants to say something. I do, before we leave. I, yes. Sweet Tuesday reminds me that on Variant Rolls on Tuesday, Anders at Anders underscore D underscore K and I and a couple other amazing people are going to be playing the game that we created. Oh, that's right. Oh, damn it. That is fantastic. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Your own game. My own game. <laughs> yes, that's great. And by the way, we're going to raid Variant Rolls as soon as we're done here. So which is going to be just a minute. Um, so just an FYI to everybody. Um, and then my favorite moment tonight, I had many. And um, the th best thing that I can say is that my favorite favorite moment was honestly everybody just digging in immediately on the 21st of September at Earth, Wind, and Fire. That just made me happy. It made, me, it made, my, it made my 70s heart glad. <laughs> okay, cool. Good night, everybody. Thanks. And uh, we will catch you over in the Variant World stream. Good night, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.